welcome Salem Kaiser to the Crystal Apple Awards. <laughs> Our community is ready to celebrate excellence in education. Thank you for joining us tonight. We are sponsored by our friends at Mountain West Investment Corporation, the Epping Family Trust, and MAPS Credit Unit. And it is going to be fantastic. My name is Tom Hoffert, and I have the opportunity to serve as CEO of the Salem Area Chamber of Commerce. And I'm Christy Perry, Superintendent Salem Kaiser. I'm Olga Cobb, Assistant Superintendent with Salem Kaiser. Bienvenidos, estamos emocionados de tenerlos aquí. And I'm Ethan Udosinata and I'm Assistant Superintendent for Salem Kaiser. Welcome. We are gonna have a terrific night and we are starting out with 89 nominees that we're gonna interview right here on this red carpet. Team, let's start let's it off. Get it going. All right, let's do it. Come on up. Hi, you look great today. What's, what's your name? My name's uh, Jeremy Parker from Auburn Elementary. Auburn, what, what inspired you to? And what inspired you to have a career in education? Uh, both of my parents were teachers, so they definitely inspired me, but they always told me that you need, it's the people around you. And that's what we have at all Auburn Elementary, the fantastic teachers, the amazing support staff. Thank you, Vlad. And under the amazing leadership of Katie Shumway, Auburn is just amazing. She brought us through a pandemic. Well, thank you for all you do, and your parents should be proud. Congratulations. Congratulations. Our next nominee is Amber Green from Battle Creek Elementary. All right, Amber, what do you, what's your favorite thing about your job? I love to try to figure out how children learn. I'm a special education teacher, so when it comes to reading, writing, or math, like just to figure out um, how each individual child learns differently, and then also behavior and social skills too, just to see the light bulbs um, turn on and just to see the progress that students make. I love that answer. Awesome. Have a great time tonight. Have a great time, you guys. Hello, Harry. Congratulations and welcome. Who are you here with tonight? My soulmate, my wife of 39 years. Wonderful. Welcome. What inspired you to be in education? Something I always wanted to do, it was my dream job, and when I asked my wife if we could do this, she supported me 100%. We are happy you did. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, good evening. Welcome to the red carpet. Who do we have here? I'm Nikki Halsey Randall from Blanchett Catholic School. Wonderful to have you here. Please tell the audience your inspiration for choosing the career in education. I just have a love of learning, and I figured why not do the best learning by teaching. Tell me, uh, if you could talk to your students tonight, what would you say? Always ask questions. That's some pretty sage advice. We can't wait to see you upstairs. Please enjoy the red carpet. All right, here we go. All right, what is your name? Jody Saunders. Who are you with, Jody? Uh, Crosser Middle School. Go Crocs. Go Crocs. And who's with you right now? Uh, this is Corinne Weber. Hi. Hi, yep. Corinne. And what, what are you most proud of about your school? Uh, that the whole faculty, our whole program, does everything that the kids can improve for, and we get the opportunity to just kind of do that. No, no one's like stopping us or holding us back. And so we, every single day we watch kids grow from the second they walk in to when they're eighth grade and they walk out to their high school. Fantastic. You're doing an outstanding job. Thanks for all you do and how, go have a good time tonight. You're looking great, by the way. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, give us your name. My name is Hortensia Navarrete from Bush Elementary School. One of the things that makes me most proud of my school is that each day I get to work with an amazingly efficient and ethical professional, my school principal. I'm also proud of the wonderful colleagues that I get to work with. We all support each other every day. 
and we all make Bush Elementary the best place to be. I love that. Thank you. Enjoy tonight. Welcome. You look beautiful. What's your name and which school do you work at? My name is Margaret Hill and I work at Bush Elementary School. Wonderful. Margaret, and who are you with tonight? This is my husband, Lucas. Hi, Lucas. Tell me, what's the favorite part of your job? My favorite part of my job is when I work with the students and they like understand something and they just like light up with that understanding and you can see the confidence grow in them. And when, you know, seven years later, students come back to the school for senior, the walkthrough, and they stop and tell me how much of an, an impact I've made on their lives. It's just so like a rewarding. That is beautiful. Thank you so much and welcome. Congratulations. Thanks. What a reception. Who do we have now? I'm Megan Spickerman, and I'm from Chapman Hill. Wonderful support you have here, Megan. Please tell our audience upstairs and watching on our streaming services what you're proudest of, either with your fellow staff or at your school. Um, well, behind you is one of the reasons why I love my school. They're like my family, um, and I love our school community. Our parents are very involved. They're amazing. I live in my community that I work in too, which makes it even more special. My kids went there. They've had all my friends as teachers. Just love it all. Well, we can't wait to see uh, what happens tonight. You too, enjoy the red carpet. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What is your name? My name is Cynthia Richardson. And who are you with tonight, Cynthia? I am with my sons, Prince Michael Richardson II and Princeton Andre Richardson. Excellent. You're looking great tonight. Now tell me who you represent or what school you're with. I'm with the Department of Student Equity, Access, and Advancement. And what inspires you, what inspires you to go into education? I didn't have a choice. My grandmother, my mother, and my father were teachers. I knew I was anointed and appointed to be a teacher. Yeah. Well, I'm sure they would be proud. We're really proud of your accomplishments. Go have a good time tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, introduce everyone upstairs to who you are and which school you're from. I'm Ashley Delarosa, and I'm at Claggett Creek Middle School. All right, and what inspired you to go into education? I love kids, I love families, and this is a way that I get to work with kids and families every day. If you could give advice about to other educators, what would you say to them? When times get hard, stick through it. Always have hope. That's awesome. I love that. I love that hopeful message. Thank you. Have a great time tonight. So much. Hello. Welcome. What's your name and what school are you with? Uh, Steve Hayner, Claggett Creek Middle School. Wonderful. Steven, who are you with tonight? This is my wife, Erica. Welcome, Erica. Steve, what's the favorite part of your job? Uh, definitely my class. It's seeing kids think that they can't do something, and then all of a sudden they figure out the end they can do it, and they get excited about that. And I just, you know, being in a shop in a computer class, a lot of times kids don't think they can accomplish something, and it's fun to see them hit their goals and stuff like that. Yeah. And I hear you have been with Claggett over how many years? I think this is my 16th or 17th year. I think it's 16th. We love that. Thank you so much and welcome. Congratulations. What a cheering section. Who are we speaking with tonight? Uh, Jenny Martinez. I'm from Hammond Elementary and I'm an instructional assistant. Fantastic. Well, you brought your fan club with you. Tell the people watching upstairs and streaming what inspired you to get into the field of education? Well, I have lots of teachers and mentors that have been in my life and inspired me, along with my mom and my uncle Calvin Thayer. And I've always had a love for helping teach and care for others. It gives me joy. Your favorite part about your fellow staff team members? 
you know, the, the relationships we've created. I mean, Hammond is awesome. We have a great foundation. Um, it's named after Geraldine Hammond, and we have a legacy of wonderful staff and students, and we've just created wonderful relationships. We're the Hammond family. Well, enjoy the red carpet. We can't wait to see you upstairs. Well, I guess you need no introduction, but I'm going to ask your name anyways. What's your name? Greg Watson. And where, do you, where do you work? Uh, Clear Lake. Clear Lake. And who are you with tonight? This is my wife, Stacy. Hi, Stacy. You looking great tonight, Stacy. So tell me, what are you most proud of in your work? I am most proud of to be a part of the Clear Lake community. I have the most amazing staff who are so dedicated to the children, to the families, to the parents. And I can like honestly say that like I love coming to work every day because of them and the work that we do. And I'm just so proud of, of how everyone shows up for the kids, for the families. It couldn't be a, a part of a better community. Well, they're certainly lucky to have you. Congratulations on the nomination. I hope you have a good time tonight. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Our next nominee is here. Give us your name and your school. Uh, Denny Dan White, Brush College Elementary. And this is my awesome principal, Janine Piscow. Danny, Danny, we need our oh, oh, do you hear him cheering? Yeah. Oh, we got to do one more cheer. Do that again. Yeah. All right, what do you love about your job? Uh, it's most definitely the people I work with. It's a great team, and the challenges we have to face every day. And we do it with a positive attitude all every day. Thank you for what you do for our kids every day. Okay, let's get one more cheer. One, two, three. Danny, Danny, he's our man. If he can't clean it, no one can. Wow, you brought your team with you. What's your name? And what school do you work at? Uh, Curtis Fisher, and I work at SeaTech in the residential construction program. Look at all those cutouts. This is amazing. Who are you with tonight? This is my lovely wife, Judy, who is fortunate enough to also work in the same building as I am. Okay, wonderful. Welcome. You look beautiful. Tell me, please, what are you most proud of in I'm, your work? Uh, definitely the community of people I work with. I mean, obviously, from staff, students, um, the support that we get at SeaTech is amazing. I'm most proud of that. Um, Congratulations. We can tell you. you enjoy your work and you have a great team. Great. Thank Welcome. You. Thank you. Well, welcome to the red carpet. Who do we have with us? Uh, my name is Jason Dunlock. I'm the principal at Candelaria Elementary School. Go Huskies! Who else did you bring? Well, this here is my son, Silas. He's a student at Myers Elementary. And then my beautiful wife, Jackie. Great to have you guys here. Welcome to the red carpet. Please tell us a little bit about what inspired you to get into the profession of education. Yeah, well, honestly, I couldn't see myself doing anything other than teaching. I have always uh, had a sincere desire to make an impact in the world and there's no better place to do that than investing in our kids. I believe in what we're doing, sincerely, and every day I wake up and I have relentless hopefulness and uh, enthusiasm about what we're doing. And so I believe in our kids and I believe in what we're doing, and so every day matters, and uh, I'm excited to be uh, here tonight and excited to just continue to make uh, an impact with kids. The power of optimism. Enjoy the red carpet. We'll see you guys upstairs. Good evening. What's your name? Kathy Bowers. Kathy, and what school are you with, and how long have you been in education? Candelaria, and this is my 38th year. Congratulations. What inspired you to go have a career in education? I've wanted to be a teacher for as long as I can remember. Third grade, and now I teach third grade. Excellent, excellent. And who are you with right now? This is my fabulous friend and coworker, Linda Flood. Linda, hi. Well, thank you for all you do. Congratulations, and I hope you have a great time tonight. Thank you. Here we go. All right, next nominee.
Company is? Rick Saffields. It's Candelaria Elementary School. All right, so what is it that you love about your job? I love that I get to wake up each day and have a chance to be able to impact the future kids that are going to be going through Salem and Oregon and the rest of the United States. So, What would you like to say, this is a trick question, what would you like to say about education that you want everyone upstairs to hear? Ooh, the more you put into it, the more you get out of it. Oh, that was good. Hi, Karen. I feel so lucky that I get to ask you. Please introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Karen Perez. I am a dual language program associate with the elementary curriculum and instruction department. Work especially with the multilingual team there. Wonderful. Welcome. And who are you with tonight? Uh, I brought a colleague with me. This is Leslie Stewart. She also works with our multilingual team. Yeah. Wonderful. Welcome, both of you. Karen, what is your favorite part of your job? I, the part I like most about my job is being able to be and work with the, the people that I work with. Being with the dual language, I'm able to see the work of the expansion and providing that access for all of our students or as many students as we can so they can have that opportunity to have bilingual um, and biliteracy gains not only just in the elementary years but all the way through high school. It's a privilege to work with them and so being able to be a part of that is just brings me up every day. Gracias, Karen. Estamos bien orgullosos de tenerte en nuestro equipo. Muchas gracias. Es un gran placer, es un honor. Gracias. Gracias. Well, welcome to the red carpet. Please tell our listeners upstairs and streaming live who we have here tonight. My name is Rahel. I'm a CISOC for the uh, Swahili speaking for the district. Tell us a little bit about what you're most proud about, either of your school staff team or your school itself. I'm most proud of my department. I get to work with people from different countries. Uh, I can do a shout out to Ali for Arabic speaking, uh, Mashulis Lisa, Chukis Ani, and Safia for Dari, and Natalia for Russian. Shout out to all those people who work in my department. Teamwork makes the dream work. What are you most excited about tonight when you get upstairs? Uh, I don't know what to expect, so this will be the first time for me, and I'm excited. You're going to have a great time, and we can't wait to see you up there. Wonderful work. We'll see you upstairs. Okay, we're here with our next nominee. What's your name? My name is Kathleen Jonathan. And Kathleen, you have a big supporting staff with you today. Who are, who's here with you? Yes, I do. I have all my three sons, Timmy, Darren, and Dylan, and my cousin, Daryl. Welcome. And tell me, what the school or department are you with? I'm with the Office of Student Equity Access and Advancement. And what's your favorite part about your job? I think all of what I do is the favorite part of my job and especially when the um, you know students have made it successfully whether it's four years five years so that's the best part is when they're you know you see that happy face that they've succeeded high school well you're certainly making a difference congratulations on being nominated today enjoy this time and this evening with your family thank you very much Ethan. All right, uh, next nominee is? Christine Bowlby. I'm one of the co-principals at the EDGE program. And what do you hope tonight would be? Uh, I would hope that it would be virtual, because that's what I'm used to, but glad we're here in person for this evening. What do you love about your job the most? Um, I really love helping our families. Um, for those that weren't able to return back to in-person, we were able to provide an option for them, and I love doing that every day. You do an amazing job, too. <laughs> Thank you. All right, have a great time tonight. Thanks. Thank you. Hello, welcome. What's your name, please? My name is Artanya Gimmel. And where do you work, Artanya? I'm with the Amazing Edge program. Yes, thank you. And who are you with tonight? I am here with my boyfriend, Ethan, and my son, Eric. Welcome, thank you for coming. And tell us, Artanya, what made you choose a career in education? 
I've always wanted to work with children and make an impact, and I have such a passion for education. I have such a passion for students. Um, and I was actually a nanny, and that's what made me decide that I wanted to be in education because I really love working with kids, and I love being able to just be a champion for students. Thank you so much. Our students are so lucky to have you. And welcome. We hope you enjoy this beautiful night. Thank you. Well, the red carpet is alive with energy. Please tell us who we have here tonight. I'm Anna Edison, and I'm the secondary instructional mentor at EDGE, the online virtual program. Would you tell us a little bit about what inspired you to be in the field of education? Sure. Well, when I started out, it was about potential, and it was about unrecognized potential. I love teaching the students and seeing them start to recognize what they could be and then seeing that come to fruition. Then, as I moved into mentoring, it was the same thing but with teachers. So what I, um, I'd love to see the teachers and help them to become the best teacher that they can be. And when they really recognize what they can do and they soar, I just love it. That's, that's the payoff, that's the reward. We have some wonderful energy awaiting you upstairs. Enjoy the red carpet and we'll see you up there, guys. Enjoy. Oh, that's quite the crowd. So tell me your name and what school you're with. I'm Maya Peters. I'm from Hare Elementary. Maya, welcome. And who are you here with today? This is my husband, Jamie Peters. He is a math teacher also. Welcome. And tell me, what inspired you to have a career in education? Uh, when I was in high school, I worked uh, with a life skills classroom, uh, helping kids learn independent skills, and it just felt really neat to be able to see kids learning things that they would really need in their life. Standing. And is there anything you want to say to the folks back home watching? Um, I work with great people, and we try to work hard for kids. Thanks. It's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for everything you do. You all look fantastic tonight. I hope you have a good time. Here we are. Give us your name. You gotta get in this too. Okay. This is my family, my husband and my dad. Is. And I'm Ancustoria de Scott. I love kids. <laughs> You're at Scott Elementary? Yes. And what do you love the most about your job? Oh, it's um I like clean for uh, good for kids. For um I love kids and uh, <laughs> You've got a great team at Scott Elementary School, too, and they're so proud of you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Anything else you want to say to anybody upstairs? Oh, I say thank you, everybody, for nominating. Thank you so much. Very good. <laughs> and you are very deserving. All right. You have a great time tonight. All right. Hello, welcome. I have known you for so long and I am so proud and so happy to see you here tonight. Tell everyone what's your name and which school do you work at? Alina Yori, Halma Elementary. Wonderful. And who are you with, Alina? Dero Stickers. Dero Stickers. He's your husband? My fiancé. Oh, your fiancé. Welcome. Nice to meet you. And Alina, what is your favorite part of your job? My favorite part of my job is interventions. Interventions? Why? Because I can teach all the children how to read and write. Maravilloso, Alina. Alina, cuéntame, ¿por qué te gusta estar con los niños? ¿Por qué te gusta educar? ¿Por qué te gusta la educación? Porque pienso que es muy importante. Eh, est estos niños son el futuro de mañana. Así que es muy importante que ellos estén bien educados. Um, Para que, para ser un futuro mejor para ellos. Muchas gracias, Alina. We are so lucky we have had you for so long in our district, and you keep teaching our children every day. Thank you for being here. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Gracias. Aquí también. Gracias. Gracias.
Well, you brought your cheering section with you. Who do we have here tonight? We have our family and our coworkers over here behind me. <laughs> and this is my husband, Jeff, and I'm Rochelle Lutz. And where do you uh, apply your craft? I'm at Inglewood Elementary as an instructional assistant, primarily in kindergarten. Tell the audience listening upstairs and streaming <laughs> what you're most proud about, either at your school or within your staff team. I am most proud of the instructional assistants that work at our school because we are sometimes the first ones on the scene. We are also sometimes the most humble, but we have to keep moving over time. I'm also very proud of them because everyone shows up with a smile. <laughs> At least well, we try to. <laughs> well, we appreciate it. We certainly know the complexities of education. Hey, you're going to have an incredible time tonight. Enjoy the end of the red carpet, and we'll see you guys upstairs. <laughs> okay, we are here with our next nominee. Tell me your, your name and what school you're with. I'm Fabiola Baez. I work at Grant School. And who are you with? This is Chay Finch, my husband Chay Finch. And tell me, what's your favorite part about working at Grant? Well, they're awesome as you can see. Go Grant Grizzlies! <laughs> no, but the best part is Grant School is really good about bringing family, the community together with family and culture and celebrating everyone. I really love that about Grant School. Well, the Grant community should be very proud. Is there anything else that you want to say to folks back home? No, just that everyone here is so dedicated. I'm so happy to be here. It's such an honor. Thank you. Well, you look great tonight. So do you, Che. I hope you all have a great night, and congratulations. It should be an honor. Kevin Vinnery, Grant Elementary. All right, and what are you most proud of in your job? Uh, well, I mean, working at Grant, we have the most amazing, dedicated teachers. I think that, like, it's been, I've been at several schools as a behavior specialist, and I think that they just, their drive for student success and um, working together is, is awesome. It's, it's an awesome school. Mark Morris is an awesome leader. Um, I love it there right now. Okay, trick question. Are you ready? Would you introduce this person? This is my wife, Shabri Vinnery. Hi. That's right. All right, thanks for being here tonight. Thank you. And okay, let's see, one more question. What inspired you to be in education? I would say my wife, Shabri Vinnery. Uh, she really got me going. I was kind of not sure what I wanted to do. I also think that my high school and, well, all the way through, my, uh, my PE teachers. Uh, throughout my, my education were a big influence, kindergarten through through 12. Thank you. Thank Have you. fun tonight. Okay. Well, Christy, we have a little time to kill here, which is we could use the breather for a moment. But we have a special guest with us, and as you know, the Salem Chamber believes so deeply in this program. But we have another chamber that believes right. deeply in this program, and we are, have our partners at the Kaiser Chamber, represented by Corey Filardo here today. Corey, killed it. What are you? What are you excited <laughs> about being here? Oh my gosh, I can't believe this night. It's beautiful. You guys are fantastic, and what a way to represent our kids and our teachers and our staff and our admin and everybody who shows up for the kids and the and the people that support um, everybody that goes to school in the in the great city of Salem and Kaiser. I'm just so excited to see everybody here tonight. It's okay if you say Kaiser Salem tonight. Oh, well, Kaiser is where it's at. Come on, people. <laughs> Thank well, you we, so much for your support absolutely. of our program and our kids. And, and, and I would echo that, Chrissy. When we think about partnerships between like organizations, there's no walls between chambers. There's no walls between business communities. And I just think it's so healthy that we have Corey here, her team. In fact, the network, uh, the No group, which is Kaiser Network of Women. Of women, very similar to our Salem Chambers, uh, uh, our business women's group, CBW. It is wonderful to partner with Corey and have two communities so strongly in support of education. So with that, should we get back to our back red to, carpet back business? To the red carpet. Welcome. 
Welcome, you brought a crowd. What's your name? I'm Angie Legu from Halk Middle School. Wonderful, and Angie, who are you with tonight? I'm with my wife, Dr. April Legu. Wonderful, welcome, you guys look awesome. Tell me, what is your favorite part of your job? My favorite part of the job, obviously, is the students and creating relationships, but also the amazing staff that I work with. Great, thank you. We have a lot of people watching at home and a lot of people here. What do you want to say to the crowd? I want to say, hi Bailey and Sammy, we love you and miss you, but thank you for the date night. And we're just happy to be here with our friends and family. Wonderful, thank you. Congratulations and we hope you have the best night. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. All right, we have our next nominee who wants to do stand-up comedy for us tonight. I was joking. <laughs> oh, it was a funny joke. Okay. Uh, Sheila Mother, Harrod Elementary. It's great to have you here tonight. And I got to sub in your classroom last yes, year. Yes, you were an excellent substitute. Thank I, you. I don't know. They were a little wiggly for me. A little? Well, that's good. They okay. A lot wiggly. They so, a lot wiggly. Yeah. All right, so what do you love about it? What do you love about education and being a teacher? Mm, I love watching the growth. The growth, going from somebody who doesn't know how to read to a reader, somebody who's a reader to becoming a phenomenal reader. It's so rewarding just to watch that success. I could tell when I was in your classroom about the structures you put in place and the learning that happens and that just that little uh, bit of time. Structure and routine are so important. They really are, and I can see you have that there. Yeah. Uh, thank you, and have a great night tonight. Thank Anything so else you want to say to people? Another good joke? Good. Oh, I just told one at lunch to my kids today. Uh, why does the flu, why does the flu um, run smaller than a cold? Why? Because you can catch a cold. Very good, very good. Yeah, Stand up sorry. comedy, you got it. <laughs> All right, we're here with our next nominee. Tell me your name and what school you're with. Um, hello, my name's Maricela Ruiz Herrera and I'm with McKay High School. Welcome, Maricela, looking very good tonight. Who's, who did you bring with you? This is my husband, uh, Lionel. Welcome. And tell me, what's your favorite part about working at McKay High School? Yeah, so I would definitely have to say um, my favorite part is that moment when I've had a student that has been struggling with a certain um, uh, problem, um, a material that they're having a hard time with, and they're just being hard on themselves. And then finally, I see, I see their lights light up, and they're like, hey, I got it, I understand. Just being able to see these students um, be able to work through these problems and be able to gain confidence um, just, through, just through them um, being able to know that they can solve and um, these problems is amazing. So just being able to see them gain confidence through um, solving these problems and being able to be there to support them. Any, anything you want to say to the folks back at McKay High School? Yeah, I love McKay. Thank you for being so passionate about what you do, each one of you. Um, you guys are incredible, and just keep up the good job. And just thank you for constantly going above and beyond to support our students. Well, they're certainly lucky to have you. Congratulations, and I hope you have a great night. Thank you. You've got this. Well, welcome back to the red carpet. Who do we have here? I'm Mary Bath McDonald's. I'm a school counselor at McKay High School. Wonderful to have you on the red carpet. Congratulations on your nomination. Tell us, in the people listening upstairs, what inspired you to get in the field of education? Uh, well, I knew that I wanted to be in a helping profession from a pretty young age. And as a student who struggled myself in school, I decided that I wanted to be a counselor within the school so that I could help other students who have barriers. Um, and just support them and make school a better experience for them. And I also thought that it was a good opportunity to bring social emotional learning uh, into the schools because I think it's a really important part of our education. We had an incredibly complex uh, global pandemic and we have young people coming back but the mental health issues continue to continue to be right at the forefront. What leaves you optimistic for tomorrow? Well, um, I think our kids are very resilient and I'm loving the way that education is finally becoming more holistic and helping our students become more socially and emotionally competent. And that's gonna help get them through school and through life later on. 
a wonderful, wonderful nominee. Enjoying the red carpet. We'll see you two both upstairs. Have a great time tonight. Wow. Okay, this is my friend Sarah, and she's got a crowd. Okay, introduce yourself, please. Hi, I'm Sarah Thice, and I'm the principal at Highland Elementary. Wonderful. Welcome, Sarah. Who are you with tonight? I'm with my husband, Shane. Hi, Shane. Thank you. You also work for our district, correct? Yes, I work for transportation. Wonderful. Thank you. Sarah, tell me, what is your favorite part of your job? My favorite part of my job is when the kids come in every morning and I get to see their smiles and give them hugs. Awesome. Hugs. We love hugs. Tell us. Who's watching at home and what do you want to say to the crowd? Well, to the crowd I want to say I have amazing staff. I love them so much. And to Liam and Owen, hi. I'll see you guys when I get home. Love you, boys. Great. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank I hope you. you have a great night. Leslie Middle School. My name is Patrick Birch. I'm an instructional assistant in the uh, special education area of the school. Oh, thank you for doing that. And I feel bad because I wore the wrong shoes. They got theirs. So if I'd have, if I'd have known, I would have worn my uh, Chuck Taylors, but that's all right. No, sorry. We did, we'll put that in for next year. That, that would be yeah. great. If you're not going to be here, though, but that's okay. Well, that's true. I'll come down with it, my Chucks awesome. anyway. Okay. Awesome. All right. So what inspires you every day in your job? Just the, the daily victories with our kids, you know, looking forward to what's going to be the victory next. Um, and it's just a day-to-day -day thing. So that's kind of what I look forward to, you know, no real long, I mean, we have our long-term goals, but with our special ed kids, um, it's good to see those little victories, you know, each and every day and build off of those. Awesome. Okay, let's get a cheer. our next nominee. You have quite the fan club here today. Tell me your name and what school you're with. Jenny Madlin, Leslie Middle School. Well, Jenny, looking very great tonight. I love your dress. Who are you here with? This is my husband, Mark Madlin. Mark, welcome. And what inspired you, Jenny, to have a career in education? Definitely mom, kindergarten teacher for 30 years, but AC Gilbert, if you want a child to learn, you have to have them do something with fun. Love that Discovery Village, so go AC Gilbert. <laughs> Excellent. Is there anything else you want to say to folks back home or the people at Leslie? This team right here is amazing. They're creating amazing things for kids every day, and I love them with all my heart. So, thank you. Well, I know Leslie's an amazing school, and they're very lucky to have you. Thank you for all you do and congratulations. Thank you, thank you. All right, so you're gonna say your name and school. Okay, Caitlin Coburn from Leslie Middle School. And what do you do at Leslie? And I'm a special ed teacher at Leslie in the DLC. Okay, and what inspires you every day? I love waking up, working with my team, um, just loving on kids and they I love all their light bulb moments that they have too um, it's just been a really fun experience and I wouldn't change a thing awesome it's so great to have you thank on the red you. carpet and you have a very fun night thank you You brought a lot of friends. Tell me, what's your name and where do you work? I am Rachel Ryan from Leslie Middle School. Welcome, Rachel. And who are you with? This is my sister, Rebecca. She came down to be here with us today. Great. From where? She's in central Washington up at Leavenworth. Nice. It's a night for celebration. Tell us, what is your favorite part of your job? Uh, it's probably not an original answer, but the students, they're brave, they're funny, they're smart. They make me want to show up every day and see them and be with them. I love them. Wonderful. Thank you. And what do you want to say to these crowd out here? Oh my gosh, I'm just so grateful. I didn't expect any of this. <laughs> Thank you. And hi to my mom and dad at home and Zach and so happy to be here. Wonderful. Thank you so Thank much. You. Welcome. Thank Hope you enjoyed the night.
Rachel's got her team with her here. Why don't you introduce yourself to our people streaming and watching upstairs? I'm Rachel Dixon. I work at Judson Middle School, and I teach Spanish and English there. Okay, muy bien. Uh, let's do this. Why don't you tell us and the guests listening what you're most proud of at your school or within your staff? Um, I am super proud of my school for uh, taking so much time with students and um, getting to know them and working towards meeting all their needs. They've taught me a lot. I brought, I bring my passion for languages and hope to instill that in some of my kids and open their world a bit. But they've all taught me how to be so much more than that and actually take um, time to know my students and meet their individual needs. So this is <laughs> this is going to be a very special night for you two. Continue up the red carpet, and we will see you upstairs. Mucho gusto, Rachel. Okay, we're here with our next nominee. What's your name and what school are you with? Lisa Pearson from Judson Middle School. Hi, Lisa, and who are you here with today? This is Todd Lyles. Welcome. Looking very good today. I love this blouse. Thank you. Uh, so tell me, what's your favorite part about your job? I think my favorite part of my job is making relationships with kids. I really enjoy that. And um, I have great relationships with my staff. And we love celebrating um, the growth that kids are making. It's pretty fun to watch them grow and get ready to move on to high school. Excellent. Well, I know Judson is really proud of, and for you being here and representing. Is there anything you want to say to the Judson team or the kids at Judson? Thanks for all you do. Keep working hard and go Jags. Go Jags. All right. Bridget Holly, where school are you at? I work at Herod Elementary School. I'm the developmental kindergarten teacher. Okay, and what is the best part of your job? Uh, the best part of my job is figuring out hard kids, and it takes a whole team of people to help me do that, and I couldn't do it without them. Caitlin, Shirley, Emma, Anya, and Miss Tammy is not here. And this is my husband, Peter, and he puts up with all the crazy that brings that I bring. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Thank you so much for being here tonight and joining her. Super deserving. Hello. Welcome. Tell us, what is your name? My name is Gabriela Steinlund. From Kennedy Elementary. Woo! Wonderful. Thank you, Gabriela. And who are you with tonight? I'm with my husband, Steve. And I see you brought a crowd by here. Who are they? They are my team. <laughs> Teachers, classified, people I work with and who support me, and, and I support them in different ways. That's wonderful. Tell me, what's your favorite part of your job? My favorite part of my job is uh, when a struggling student um, finally just uh, is able to reach their potential and finally understand that thing that they're struggling with. And being able to work with a team and administration that supports me as a recess lead and as a bilingual educator. Wonderful, thank you so much. We are proud to see you here and I hope you have an amazing night. Thank you. Welcome. Congratulations. We have the cheering section. Who do we have on the red carpet right now? My name is Kyle McGrath, special education teacher for McNary High School. This is my lovely wife, Hannah McGrath. Yeah, we're happy to be here. Great to have you here, Kyle. And you have your cheering section, which is really fun to see. Tell the audience listening upstairs and and streaming over the internet. What made you compelled to get in the career of education? Yeah, I just really wanted to be that bridge that, you know, uh, from the kids at high school to, to their success in their career or whatever they want to do in their life. I'd like to be that bridge, provide that, uh, whatever it's motivation or the, the uh, academic portion and just trying to, you know, become a man and that's some of those things and I love to do those things. 
What are you most proud of in dealing with your fellow staff members and, and the school itself? What, what are those things that bring up pride for you? Yeah, McNair is a great place to be. We have some great leaders. They kind of let us have the autonomy to do what we think is best. And, uh, you know, our team pretty much thrives off of uh, the energy that I bring. And it's a good time when we're in there. Kyle, it's great to have you on the red carpet. You guys head upstairs and have a wonderful evening. Next nominee, tell me what your name is. Hi, my name is Scott Johnston. I'm the PE teacher at McKinley Elementary School. McKinley's a great school. I've heard great things about you there. Tell me, what do you like most about your job? Well, first of all, I think the thing that I like the most about it is just the, the ability to be part of the McKinley community. McKinley community. Uh, it's full of a lot of great families, supportive families, and uh, my colleagues back there, I enjoy working with them every day. And I think the ability to be able to work with students and, and help find some times that they're diffi having difficulties or challenging things and helping them find a path to success is pretty rewarding. Well, they're very fortunate to have you. Is there anything you want to say to the folks back at McKinley? So, well, first I'd like to introduce my dad oh, and, say, and say I'm glad that he's able to join me here tonight. And just a shout out to the McKinley Mountain Lions. Uh, they make me feel uh, valued and appreciated every day, but today especially so. So we had a great day and I know that a lot of them are watching tonight. So thank you, Mountain Lions. Dad should be proud, and so should McKinley. Congratulations, and have a great night. Thank you very much. All right, here's our next nominee. And you want to give your name and school? Dustin Purnell, Parrish Middle School, and this is my beautiful wife, Haley. Hi. We have a big cheering section in the back. Yes, I have oh, the best staff in the district by far. What do you love the most about your job? Um, well, besides lunch supervision, um, probably, uh, well, the kids are great. The, our kids, our community is wonderful, and our staff is phenomenal. So it's a great place to be. Okay, I'll see if we can get him a cheer. Come on. One more thing. Right behind me is Mateo Gonzalez the best custodian in the state by far. Oh, okay. We cannot wait for this one. Awesome. I'll get them cheering. Wow! Look at your team. Mira su equipo. ¿Cómo se llama y en dónde trabaja? What's your name and where do you work? My name is Mateo Gonzalez. I work in Parrish Middle School. Welcome, Mateo. And then who are you with tonight? My wife, Alma. Hi, Alma. Welcome. Mateo, what's your favorite part of your job? Working with a group of uh, real professionals. The real, their main goal is the kids. Make successful kids to, so they can do a great in life. Thank you so much, Mateo. Thank you. We are proud of you. Estamos muy orgullosos de usted. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Mire, ¿qué le quiere decir a ese grupo? Un grupo muy bueno de trabajo. Son maravillosos. Yeah, maravillosos. Gracias. Gracias, Mateo. Felicidades. Tanya, you got some fans with you tonight. Why don't you introduce yourself to our red carpet watching party? My name is Tanya Stevens. I'm the cadre at Pringles Elementary. Tanya, when you think back as to what compelled you to get into the career of education, what are those things that made you say, I've got to be involved in this career? Um, well, generally speaking, like from being a small child, I always wanted to be a teacher just because I wanted to be with kids. But then as I got older, I realized that my role was going to be different because I had a deeper connection with students in a different way, a more physical, emotional way, um, helping them regulate their bodies and making sure that they were accepted in a very diverse system. And I wanted to make sure that kids really knew who they were even when it didn't look the same as the other kids. Very thoughtful. Would you like to introduce who you have with us tonight? This is my husband, Sam. Sam, great to have you here. You guys are going to have a wonderful time. Enjoy your walk up the red carpet, and we'll see you up there. <laughs>
I'm in need. Tell me your name and what school or department you're with. Irma Aguilar with the Migrant Program. Excellent. And who are you here with tonight? I'm my boyfriend, Noel Rivera. And tell me, what is your favorite part about your job? Uh, my favorite part about my job is working with amazing people, and but uh, most important to support our migrant students. Yes, our migrant population is very happy, to, are very lucky and fortunate to have you. Um, is there anything you want to say with the people that you work with or the folks back home? Let's keep doing the job and helping those those students that they really need our help. Well, thank you for all you do. We're fortunate to have you at Salem Kaiser Public Schools. Congratulations on your nomination, and I hope you have a great night. Thank you. All right, our next uh, nominee is here. You want to introduce yourself and introduce I am Ramon Gutierrez. I am one of the recruiters for my grand education program, and my daughter, Laura Gutierrez. And how long have you worked for Salem Kaiser? I have been working for Salem Kaiser for 33 years. And what is your favorite thing about your job? My favorite thing is to have the opportunity to share with families information, very valuable information that will help our students and will, and will help our parents also. And 33 years of get that gift to our kids and their families. That is just um, incredible. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Have fun tonight. Thank yeah. you. I think you have a group of students with you. Can you please tell us your name and who are they? Yes, my name is Alyssa Bond, and these are my theater students from North. They're rock stars. Look at them go. <laughs> wow, look at that group. And who are you with here? I'm here with Elle, my nominator. She's wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Please tell us what made you choose a career in education? Um, first off, my parents. My parents are both teachers, and they were wonderful, wonderful role models for me. And um, I had an incredible theater teacher myself who inspired me to change lives uh, in my own way. So, Thank you. And what do you want to say to that group back there? I love you guys. You're amazing. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful night tonight, and congratulations. Thank you. So much. Thank you. This has got to be the loudest one yet. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself to the people watching upstairs and streaming online? My name is Jessica Godinez. I'm an instructional assistant at Myers Elementary. Wonderful to have you here, Jessica. And I see you brought a wonderful, beautiful young lady with you. Yes, this is my niece, Erica Huerta. Did you say your name? I'm Erica, and she. And she and she's my niece. It's wonderful to have you here as well. Tell us a little bit about what you're proudest about working within your school or with your team. I think that I'm really proud that my team is all very inclusive with everybody, staff, students, and I feel like you can de you can, they can demonstrate their love towards not only staff, but as well as all of the students and they, they demonstrate it with all of their empathy, their work, and they're just really amazing to work with. And I love to see it, how other students also feel that way. You're gonna have a very special night. I know you have some people to cheer with. And there they are, have a great time up the red carpet. Our next nominee. Tell, tell me your name and what department you're with. I'm Sheila Gebhardt and I'm with the music department. And who did you bring with you today, Sheila? My lovely, amazing cheerleading husband, Brian Gebhardt. He's very fortunate. And tell me, what's your favorite part about your job? I love festival and I love going to state. <laughs> okay, and um, what? Is, tell me about uh, something that uh, people need to know about the music, the music and arts in, in Salem Kaiser. I think how hard our teachers work. Our teachers really are the backbone to the music department. 
our, uh, my supervisors, my past supervisors, Mary Lou Borderman and Carl Rashkis and now Steve Lytle, they, they, make, this, uh, they make this music uh, rock, basically. <laughs> but um, I think even working with like Dick with Nell and with Sandy Wiss Carson on the Music Lesson Project, you know, all this adds up to building a really strong music program. And if it weren't for them and for our teachers that work night and day, um, we wouldn't be where we're at, where we could do well at festivals and at state. So, for those watching at home, they need to know that we have a nationally uh, recognized music uh, program, and a lot of that is because of the hard work that you do. So, congratulations on the nomination, and I hope you have a fantastic night tonight. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. And the fans go wild. The Crystal Apple Awards are not simply about always just the Salem Kaiser School District. Please introduce yourself to the fans watching online and upstairs. Thank you, Tom. Uh, my name's Carl Micken, and I'm the principal at Queen of Peace School. And this is my lovely wife, Liz. It's wonderful to have you guys with us tonight. It is going to be an incredibly special night. Tell us about the dynamics and complexities of being a principal at a private school here in Salem. Well, I suppose the most dynamic difference is we have to find all of our money uh, from places that aren't coming from the giant pile at the state. Uh, but uh, we get the joy of getting to connect with families who all have a common vision and um, a shared Christian faith, and that's pretty cool. I got a full disclosure. I am a Queen of Peace grad, and it is wonderful to have you both here. You guys have a wonderful time tonight. Thank Enjoy it. Okay, welcome. We have our next nominee with a very special guest. Hi, tell me what's your name? Jessica Solis. Jessica, where do you work? At Roberts uh, Alternative Education. Wonderful, welcome. And who are you with? You have a very special guest. My daughter, Ali Solis. Welcome, Allison. Are you excited for tonight? Yeah. What's your favorite part of being here? People. People, I bet you had fun getting ready too. You look beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. What school do you go to? Kennedy M Elementary School. Elementary. School. Kennedy Elementary School. Wonderful. Tell me, what makes you most proud of in your work? Um, just meeting and working with families and helping removing barriers for them. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And what do you want to say to the team that you brought in here today? They're all amazing, and thank you for everything. <laughs> and then my old co-workers. Hey, two groups from two different schools. Good job. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. You. We hope you have a great night. Thank you. <laughs> all right, our next nominee is Jeanette Aguirre. I am at Roberts High School Structured Learning Center. All right, and so what inspires you to come back every day and do this really important work? My kids, the students, you know, when they ask me how many students do you have, I don't just say two, I have over 100 kids. Um, at Structured Learning Center, it's a special place where kids need love, kids need attention, kids need hugs, kids need a, a smiling face. So I try my best to be there every day. And that's what you do for our kids every day. Thank you for the work you do. Thank you. Yeah. Right, have fun tonight. Appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, welcome. We're here with our next nominee. Tell me your name and what school you're with. Hi, I'm Jacqueline Pope Brothers, and I'm with Sprague High School. This is my husband, Dwight. Welcome, Dwight. Love the dress, Jacqueline. Thank you. And something that people don't know, today's Jacqueline's birthday. Happy birthday, Jacqueline. Thank you so much. Tell me your favorite part about your job. Favorite favorite about your job. Absolutely, the kids. You guys are awesome. I love you. You and your families make everything worth it. Um, our fun in class, after class, after school, the adventures we go on. You teach me so much about myself and about you and your rich histories. And I just, I wouldn't do it if it wasn't for you guys. Thank you so much for everything you've brought to my life the last 11 years in Salem Kaiser. The students are certainly fortunate to have you. Go Ole, and congratulations. Thank you so much. Have a great night.
Well, we have some wonderful guests on our red carpet. Please tell us about our nominee. Hi, I am Kelsey Daniels. I'm the principal at Shirley Elementary, and this is my mom, Kay Edwards. Our daughter is Mary Ellen, Casey Rose, and... And I'm Michael Daniels from Technology with my mom, Ruth Gilbert, also nominated, so we're happy to be here, you guys. Well, what a family affair. Let, let's do this. Let's start in first and talk to us a little bit about the process of moving through a few different channels to land where you are now. What are you proudest of? What's the reflections you have? Well, I want to start off by the proudest is right now with all 89 of these nominees. Everyone that's here, this is so exciting. But then the process to be with Salem Kaiser as a student and then also to be as an employee, to give back to our community and to serve little ones like this and to be with amazing people. Ah, so sorry. To be with amazing people that are all around us right now, just enjoying the moment and celebrating education. It is going to be an incredibly fun night. Superintendent Perry. What are you, what do you do in technology that impacts kids? I got it. Oh, you got a good one. Um, <laughs> the things I like to feel we impact uh, children is both um, introducing them to new technology and supporting their teachers in that tech, um, making it easy and accessible and hopefully uh, aligning with our goals as a district. So, yeah. So here is your family for this night. What does it mean to you? Oh, this is a dream come true. Um, it's something we've thought about and prayed about to say we can have this opportunity to be a part of this team in this district, and it's just a wonderful time to be here. Absolutely honored. Humble. And we love having a Salem Kaiser family. Yes. We are one team, all right. One team, absolutely. Yeah, I think that's Tiz. One yeah, one team, one Tiz. One team. Welcome to the red carpet. Hey, what's your name and where do you work? Hi, I'm Marilyn Edwards and I work at Shirley, fourth grade. Wonderful, thank you. Was that your principal who just left us from the carpet? Yes, that's my son. <laughs> awesome. And who are you with tonight? This is my husband, Bob. Hi, Bob. Nice to meet you. You guys um, look amazing. Shout out to my daughter, Ashley, in Colorado. <laughs> hey, great. Hi, Ashley. And please tell us, what's your favorite part of your job? Uh, my favorite part of my job is the kids and seeing the excitement in their eyes every time they come to school. And my coworkers are the best part because they are the best people I would ever want to work with. So. Look, yes, look at these group. My Shirley peeps. My Shirley peeps are the best ever. <laughs> Hashtag be like Katie. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, we hope you have a great night. Thank you. The red carpet is rocking. Tell us who we have here on the red carpet now. I'm Dina Turner, and I work at Stevens Middle School. I'm a math teacher. And this is my husband, Dennis Turner. He's at Hauk. Uh, middle school. Teaching is a family affair. I am the product of two retired Salem Kaiser School District teachers myself. Well done. Great to have both of you here. Tell us a little bit of your reflections on your school, things that are, your, are powerful to you and, and help you get up each morning to do this really challenging line of work. Well, Stevens Middle School, I have to say, is the mo has the most resilient staff and um, the last few years have been tough, um, even on days where we come in and we're facing some hard days. Um, we all come in with uh, support for each other, encouragement for each other, and I feel like we're a family at Stevens. It's been, it's been the best experience of my life. I came into teaching as a second career, so I was almost 40 when I decided to be a teacher. And I've spent 12 years at Stevens, and I never want to leave. I think it's the best school in the district. I love the community, and I love the students, too. Well, I love that you love our community. We love Salem Kaiser. You guys are going to have a fantastic time tonight. Head on upstairs, and let's have a great time. And we are here with our next nominee. Tell me your name. My name is David Wetzel. David. This is my wife, Stephanie. And what school are you with? I'm at Scott Elementary. And tell me about your favorite part of your job. 
You know, I'm a physical education teacher and I get to work with all kids every day, down from kindergarten all the way up to fifth grade. And uh, I just love getting to hang out with them and just seeing their smiles and their excitement. Well, the stu students at Scott are definitely fortunate to have you. Is there anything you want to say to them? I just want to say that I love Scott Elementary. I love the community. I love the kids. And go Eagles. Go Eagles. Congratulations and have a great night. Thank you very much. All right, here's our next nominee. Give us your name and your school and what you do. Daniel Monroy, and a uh, graduation coach. All right, so what's the favorite part of your job? Uh, working with kids and making a difference, uh, seeing these kids uh, 10 years from now, saying, hey, thank you for helping me graduate or get a GED. Give me one example of what a graduation coach might do for a kid. Um, if, they're, if they're not in school, I go and search. I go do home visits, uh, phone calls, uh, call neighbors. I try to find them anywhere. So Whatever it takes. Yes, whatever it takes. Right. So. It takes a family to get them across the graduation. It, yes, and a whole school and a, a big program, a big department. And thank you to uh, the counselor department, everybody at school. They're awesome. So. Takes a, takes a team. Yes, it, it does. All right, have Thank fun you. tonight. Thank you. Hey, okay, we have our next nominee. Welcome. Tell us, what are what is your name and where do you work? Uh, I'm Gilberto Bedoya from South Salem High School. Wonderful. Go South Salem. And who are you with today? I'm with my sister, uh, Jessica Bedoya. Jessica, who's also a South graduate, right? Yes, yes. Tell me, what are you most proud of in your work? Uh, to get to work with great people who are really inclusive and want to make every student successful and feel really good about themselves. Wonderful. Thank you. We are really proud to have you here. We hope you have an amazing night. Thanks. This is easily, easily the best looking attire on the red carpet. You're off the hook style tonight. Why don't you introduce yourself to the people here in the audience and watching upstairs and online. Okay, uh, I'm Ben Handrich. I'm a counselor at South Salem High School. Ben, did you bring someone with you? This is Trish, she's my partner. She is an oncology nurse at Salem Hospital. Oh, uh, wonderful. Tell us a little bit about what you're proudest about on a night like this. Oh man. Uh, I'm proud of my team. I love being a counselor at South. I'm proud of our school nurse who is also a nominee and I would love to see her win uh, up on the up on the stage. But yeah, I love South. Uh, I love being an educator. We're very fortunate to have you. When you think of uh, what gets you excited in the morning to pop up and come to this line of work, give me a brief thought on that. Oh man. Um, I love getting to go to work with who, uh, with my whole team at South, and I love, I love just as a counselor, we, we never know what the day is going to bring, um, and so I just love walking in and just seeing what's on my desk, what's waiting for me. Well, thank you for taking on the complexities of being a counselor, and enjoy the red carpet. You guys are going to have a great time tonight. All right, thank you. We are here with our next nominee. Tell me your name and what school you're with. Uh, Sarah Keck at South Salem High School. Sarah, who did you bring with you today? I have my husband, Josh. Welcome. By the way, I love your soup. Oh, thank you. Thank and tell you. me, what's your favorite part about teaching at South? Uh, my favorite part about teaching is just the amazing people I get to work with, the kids, the teachers, the staff. I love it there. I got really lucky when I moved up. And what inspired you to go into teaching? Um, my mom will say it's because I wanted to have candy in my desk, but really it's because I had crappy math teachers and I wanted to be better than that, so. Okay, well, mission accomplished. Yeah. Congratulations and thank you for all you do. Thank you. Wow, big fan club here tonight. Okay, introduce yourself and your family. Hi, I'm Denise Proudfoot. I'm the nurse for South Salem High School, and I have with me Brayden, my son, and Abigail, my daughter. What is it most impactful in your job? Oh, it's got to be um, that I, well, I love the kids and, and the impact that they have on me and all the interactions. I'm super privileged to have 24 kids interacting, uh, the potential to interact with them, and then to work with such amazing 
um, colleagues. The, I have a huge crew of nurses here. We serve the entire district and we're able to work really hard to, to create safe places and cultivate safe places with intention for kids to be holistically healthy across the entire spectrum of health, whether that's academics, emotions, mental health, uh, physical health, and that bringing that together and paving those paths is incredibly impactful and um, uh, exciting work that we love to do. Well, I don't know if you know this, but I'm a huge fan from a little distance because you make you really impact the district too. Thank you. Yep. Thank you All right, so you have a great night tonight in your fan club. Let's give it up! Give it up! Okay, welcome. We have our next nominee. Tell us what is your name and where do you work? Uh, my name is Vinny Rolfness, and I work at South Salem High School. Wonderful. Welcome. And then, who are you with tonight? This is my beautiful wife, Jesse. Hi, Jesse. You guys look amazing. Tell us, what are you most proud of in your work? Uh, you know, working at South, I'm a, I'm a third generation from South. My grandparents went there, we've had family, I went through there, I've got cousins that go there. And honestly, being a part of that community and that Saxon family um, and making an impact where teachers made an impact on my life and being able to give back to that community is so amazing. That is beautiful and inspiring, thank you. Tell us, what do you want to say to people watching today? Uh, I know there's a lot of students watching at home. Thank you for just showing up every day and, and being you. And then my family, I love you guys and thank you for everything. Wonderful. You have, you, I, we hope you guys have a wonderful night tonight. Well, congratulations again. Wow, what a response. Why don't you tell the wonderful people watching at home and upstairs who you are, your school, and then we'll ask a fun question. Okay. My name is Janet Linares, and I am a teacher at South Salem High School. Janet, you have quite a cheering section, and I believe you want to tell us a little bit about the why of why you're so passionate about education. Okay. I am very passionate about education and kids, high school kids particularly, and what they can do to fulfill me as I try to fulfill them. And you can see that they are here and um, they're my security blanket. They're the reason why I get up and go to school in the morning and stay until 5 o'clock at night and longer. It's all the South Salem Pacific Saxons. You guys are going to have a wonderful time tonight. Head right up the red carpet and let's celebrate. All right, we are here with our next nominee. Tell me your name and the school that you're at. My name is Denny McCarthy. I'm the principal at Straub Middle School, and this is my beautiful wife, Linda. Who also works for the district. <laughs> you both are looking great tonight. Well, thank you. How long have you been with the district? Uh, 24 years. Okay, that's a long time. A long time. And what's your favorite part about being a Straub? Uh, I love our community. We have incredible students, we have incredible parents, and we have an incredible staff who do whatever it takes to help each and every child be successful. I'm very lucky. I feel like I won the educational lottery by being at Straub Middle School. Is there anything else you want to say to the folks out of Straub? Uh, just thanks for everything. You're incredible. Love y'all. We're going to get back at it on Monday. <laughs> That's the spirit. Thanks for all you do. And congratulations on your nomination. Have a great night. Thanks, Ethan. Great to see you. Uh, Dalton Lindsay, uh, Straub Middle School. This is my wife, uh, Janelle Lindsay. And a whole crew of cross country runners. Uh, yeah, my, my cross country and track team is here to support, so I, I love it. So, what's most impactful and inspirational about your work? Uh, I think uh, what we've done this year and the uh, camaraderie we've gotten at Straub in the community uh, has really been uh, a fun place to be at. Uh, staff, students alike, uh, it's just been really fun to come into work every day uh, and make a difference, and um, the kids make a difference in our lives, and it's, it's always a fun time. 
Awesome. Anything else you want to say to the whole crowd upstairs? Uh, I think you guys are awesome. Uh, the Straub family uh, watching at West Salem, uh, I appreciate you guys. Uh, I would not be here without you, and uh, I'm bringing it home for you. Right. They, they're having a watch party at West Salem High School? Not, not the high school, uh, local restaurant out, out there, so it's, uh, we're, we're, it's going to be a fun time. Awesome. I hope they're enjoying themselves. Thanks, thanks. All right. Have a good night. Okay, we have our next nominee, and we invited some people from outside the red carpet. What is your name, where do you work, and who are you with tonight? Uh, my name is Pat Curran, and I'm a counselor at Whitaker Middle School. And this is my family. This is my wife, Marie, and this is my oldest daughter, Samantha, and this is my younger daughter, Megan. And uh, go ahead. Thank you so much. And tell us about Samantha. Where is she coming from tonight? Samantha is a proud graduate of McNary High School, where she was one of the valedictorians last year. And she is attending University of Oregon. And uh, she's majoring in business. And she surprised me and drove down here tonight. We love it. Good job. What is your favorite part of your job? It's the people. You know, the the relationships, everything in life comes back to relationships. So it's all about whether it's the kids, the families, the, the staff you work with, you know, that's the whole thing is being there for other people and, you know, making a difference in people's lives. Thank you. We are proud to have you. Thank you for driving down and welcome everyone. We hope you have a wonderful night. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Good have luck. The fan club is assembled. Why don't you uh, let those watching know who you are and what school you're at? I'm Stacy Kilgram from West Salem High School. And what role do you have? Stacey? I'm a CTE business, finance, and marketing teacher. Oh, that is something that the business community loves. <laughs> Wonderful to hear. Tell us a little bit about the compelling reason that you feel education is so important uh, in this community and what makes you proud to be an educator? Well, I'm proud to be an educator because being in the CTE, the career and technical education, I feel that the skills that they're learning in our classes, that it prepares them for after high school graduation and they're able to go to college or to go into a trade or to be able to go into the workforce. Who'd you bring with you? This is my husband, Brad, teacher at Whitaker Middle School. Multi, uh, the husband and wife combos. I love to see it. Thank you guys both Thank for you. being here. Have a great time tonight. Okay, we are here with our next nominee. Tell me your name and the school that you're at. Uh, my name is Carla Tibbetts and I'm at West Salem High School. And what do you do at West Salem? I am a school counselor. And who did you bring with you today? Um, I brought my husband, Dave Tibbetts. Welcome. And tell me, what's something that uh, you enjoy doing most or what's your favorite thing about working at West Salem? Um, my favorite thing is working with my students and my families. They really are amazing and they're great and I just love working with them and helping them get to the next steps and, and what their career, future career is going to be. Well, they're certainly fortunate to have you. Anything you want to say to the folks out there? Just thank you for this nomination. I'm so honored to be here and I feel so proud and, and happy and, um, and excited. All right, go Titans. Congratulations and have a great night. Thank you. George Thompson from West Salem High School. Who do you have with you tonight? My wife, Michelle Dulac Thompson. All right, and what's the thing you love the most about your job? Getting to work with great kids and great faculty. We make our students sound like professionals. They really do. And anyone upstairs that hasn't done, seen Winter at West, they need to go, right? Yes, they do. Do we have the dates for next year yet? Not yet. Oh, that was a trick question. Thank you for being here tonight. And you all say anything to your colleagues upstairs? It's an honor to be here. And I'm very grateful to, be, to know that I'm well regarded. Thank you. You Thank are. You. Have a great night. Okay, welcome. We have our next nominee. And you have quite a crowd. Tell us, what is your name and where do you work? Um, my name is Karen Brooks and I work out of Student Services. I'm an occupational therapist. 
Wonderful. You are impacting a lot of people here. We can tell. People here. I have a lot of supporters. Yeah. Wonderful. Who are you with today? This is my cousin, Abby. Hi, Abby. Welcome. And tell us, what is your favorite part of your job? Uh, one of my favorite parts of my job is this. This the support that everybody gives each other. Um, it's always been like that, and it's like that. I work out of student services, but this is from schools. People have my face with them today. and. Um, but the kids is why I do this. They teach us how to be our, our authentic selves and um, how to live your best life. So I learned a lot from the kids. Wonderful. Thank you so much. We are so happy to have you here. We hope, we ha you, we hope you have a great night. Thank you so Thanks. much. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you. Surrounded by fans, please tell us who we have on the red carpet today. West Salem High School. I'm an SPIA too. This is my daughter Destiny. <laughs> well, it's great to have you both with us. This is going to be a fantastic night. I know you're a little nervous. Tell us about what what you're so proud about in working with your fellow staff team. Uh, the LRC department is amazing, which is my group right over here. <laughs> we all work together and want every student to succeed. If you were to think of one thing that makes you want to get up in the morning and do great things and create positive change, what is it? My students. Succinct. The students. Hey, everybody, let's cheer her on. Up the red carpet, you guys go. Thank you. Okay, we are here with our next nominee. Tell me your name and what school you're with and what you do. Joel Rocha Torres. I'm from Sweet Elementary, and I'm the behavior cadre. Who did you bring with you today? I brought my mother, my Blanca. Your mother should be very proud. Now, I'm going to ask you something. What inspired you to get into teaching? I think just how I grew up in the district and all the support I had, I just wanted to reinforce that and bring that back to my community and be the person that my teachers were to me growing up. And what's your favorite part about being at Swiegel? The community, the people, the kids. Uh, I am Swiegel, you know. They are me. It's a wonderful community, and they're certainly fortunate to have you. Mom should be proud. So congratulations and have a great night. Thank you. You as well. Thank you, guys. Okay, our next honoree is Jess Buse from Swiegel Elementary, and I'm the instructional mentor. All right, and what is it that you love about your job? I love going to a place where I can make an impact every day in someone's life. Yeah. And you do that every day in someone's Thank life. You. Congratulations. Go Swiggle Eagles! All right, go Swiggle Eagles! Let's go, all right. Okay, we have our next nominee, and we are going to do this interview in Spanish because her mom is in the audience and we want her to understand every word. Entonces, buenas noches. Dime, ¿cuál es tu nombre y en dónde trabajas? Buenas noches, soy Denise Pozos. I'm Denise Pozos and I work at West Salem High School. Trabajo en West Salem High School. Maravilloso, Denise. ¿Y con quién viniste hoy? Con mi mejor amiga, Jayla. Hi, Hi Jayla. Welcome. Y cuéntanos, ¿cuál es la parte que más te gusta de tu trabajo? Mis estudiantes. No hay duda al respecto. Amo estar con mis estudiantes. I love my students so much. Me encanta trabajar con ellos, conectar con ellos, simplemente tener la oportunidad de compartir mis experiencias y que ellos me enseñen todo lo que nos enseñan a los maestros. They give us so much to us as well. It's just an incredible relationship with them. Gracias. Estamos bien orgullosos de tenerte aquí. ¿Y qué le quieres decir a los amigos con los que viniste esta noche? Muchísimas gracias por estar aquí y luchar siempre por aquellos que necesitan ese segundo idioma. Los quiero mucho a todos. Gracias. Buen trabajo. Felicidades y esperamos que pasen una noche maravillosa. Thank you so much. Gracias. Bienvenidas. Well, I am with the transportation man. Introduce yourself to these people. Yeah, yeah I'm Michael Cape. I'm a field coordinator with transportation. Tell us uh, what you're most proud about working with your fellow staff teams within the district. What, what excites you? What gets you up in the morning? Well, it, it all starts with the people in transportation. Everybody's working to try and get the kids safely to and from school. There's a lot that goes into it. Uh, I got some of my router staff over here right there making a bunch of noise. They're the ones I work with every day, but 
our dispatchers, they, they handle a bunch of crisis, big, small, every day. Everybody calling in, needing something, whether it's a bus driver or a parent. And then uh, my field coordinator team, they do a bunch to, to help us uh, make everybody um, just better and, and teaching everybody. And, and then we can't do it without the drivers. And, and that's what we're all focused on is, is getting kids safely to and from school. It's a healthy ecosystem because of individuals like you. You guys have a wonderful time tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we are here with our next nominee. Tell me your name, school, and department. My name is Sophia Glebe, and I'm at Sumter Elementary, and I teach music there. Sophia, what inspired you to get into education? I had educators growing up that were just, they made a difference, and I wanted to do that too. And um, my mom was the first one to do that for me. And then I had choir teachers and, and math teachers that just came alongside and helped me just, like, be the person I am and so I wanted to do that too for other kids. Outstanding and I know you've been in education for eight years mm -hmm. at Sumter. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part about being at Sumter? I love that as a music educator that I get a chance to see the kids grow from kindergarten all the way through sixth grade. Um, usually in elementary you see your class for one year and they move on but in music I get to see them every single year and I get to watch them grow and it's just amazing to see where they go from five years old up to fifth grade. Well, I can tell by the cheering section right now that you have a uh, big following and that you're making a big impact on the kids at Sumter. And so congratulations to you, and I hope you have a great night. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. The excitement is around us. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Tim Thomas. I'm from Riot Elementary, and I'm the lead custodian there. Who did you bring with you tonight? I brought my wife, Judy, with me tonight. Great to have you both here. Why don't you uh, tell us a little bit what you're, you're proudest about. Tell us a little bit about the team or things that make you so proud to do what you, you are doing. I'm working with my staff at uh, Riot Elementary. They are an incredible group of people. And the kids that uh, go to school there are amazing, so it's very good. You are somebody who loves our community deeply, and thank you for giving so much to the kids and out of the kindness of your heart. It's wonderful to have you both here. You guys are going to have a blast. Head on upstairs. <laughs> okay, welcome. Our next nominee, tell us please, what is your name and where do you work? I'm Reggie Maxwell from Valley Inquiry, and this is my awesome husband, John. Uh, Hi, welcome. Nice to meet you. Please tell us, what do you enjoy most about your work? Uh, my favorite thing about my job is definitely my kids. They are so much fun, and also the people I work with. I couldn't do it without them and my supportive crew over there. So thank you guys for coming. Wonderful. And please tell us, what do you want to say to that supportive crew and then people watching at home? Yes, I know all my cheetahs are watching. Go cheetahs. Woo! Thank you so much. We hope you have a great night. My name is Ariana Recker and I'm from Wright Elementary. And who, do you, who do you have with you tonight? This is my husband, Jeffrey Larkin. Okay, and what inspires you in your job? What inspires me is my, truly my students. I get to make music with them every day. Uh, I get to be on their learning journey um, from kindergarten all the way through fifth grade. And it's probably the most meaningful part of my job is to make music with them. So so great to see our kids with music. We've had so many music educators here tonight. Congratulations. You, you really do make a big impact Thank on you. our kids. All right, have a great night. Thank you. All right. We're here with our next nominee. Tell me your name, school you work with, and what you teach. I am Alyssa Valise, a third grade bilingual teacher at Yoshikai Elementary. And who did you bring with you here today? This is my sister, Liza, who's also a teacher, and my niece, Adriana, who works in Salem-Kaiser as well. Excellent. And tell me, what inspired you to get into education? Um, I think really growing up, I grew up in Woodburn, so just being able to give back to the Latino population and having them have a role model, somebody that looks like them and talks like them, and being able to relate in that way, it's really awesome to see in the classroom every day. And what's your favorite part about being at Yoshukai? Um, you know, I can repeat what everybody else has said, but honestly, 
you are entrusted with the learning and care of the students from the administrator to the lunch ladies to the instructional assistants to the janitor and so none of that is possible without my entire building so I think that's my favorite part of Yoshikai is that every single person plays an active role in that. Outstanding. It's a great school community. They're very fortunate to have you. you. Congratulations on your nomination. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great night. Wow, wow, team. Whew. Okay, for those watching upstairs and streaming, we got a little bit of the pits going here. It's oh been no. a busy, busy <laughs> time on the red carpet. It was incredible. Thank you so much to Mountain West Investment Corporation for allowing this night to happen. But it is time. That is moment time. we have been waiting for. Ready. And are we going to head it upstairs? We're doing okay, it. Okay, let's do it in three, two, two one. one. Here we go.
incredible. <laughs> I don't you know, know Wendy, you... they actually know how to do a dance party, and I was kind of embarrassed that they didn't stand up and start dancing because they know how to do a Salem Kaiser dance party. But the music was awesome. Yeah, you had some moves, and I was really, really... I've been practicing. That was good. That was good. Good evening. Good evening. Buenas noches. Welcome to the return of, this, return of the 24th Annual Crystal Apple Awards Banquet, presented by the Salem Chamber. <laughs> in partnership with Mountain West Investment Corporation. Hi, I'm Wendy Valise. I'm Local Government Affairs Manager with PGE, and I'm proud to represent the Salem Chamber Board of Directors as president of the organization. Next to me is a leader who needs no introduction, our own Salem Kaiser School District Superintendent, excellent dancer, Christy Perry. Yeah. Thank you, Wendy. It's going to be a remarkable night, and I think most of you know how I excited I am to have this event back. We've had a record-breaking award nominations with 89 and a change in venue because our community wanted to be sure that you had a sit-down dinner. So with that comes a few extra challenges because uh, the convention center is going to do their best to serve us in a timely fashion. But we um, also want to keep to our time commitment, and so we are going to be serving while we have our program tonight. And if you could do your best to uh, not have too many conversations at the table. I told them I know how to get everyone quiet. And um, if you'll be, just thank our servers as they come around. Simply put, we're collectively all working through this dinner tonight. <laughs> Um, as we have, I think, 750 to 780 people in the room. Yeah, that's amazing. We were ready. We were ready to celebrate these wonderful people. Christy, it really is an honor to uh, share the stage with you tonight. And the business community um, works long hours to ensure customers and employees receive the support they need and deserve. But equally, our educators do the same and make sacrifice to ensure every student succeeds and has provided relevant learning opportunities for our young people. It is important to understand that Salem Kaiser business community is truly honored and I'm humbled to me amongst all of you to bring this wonderful, wonderful event back to our community after a few years spent battling a global pandemic. And as Christy knows, this is also very personal to me because I have a family of educators. I have uh, sisters, two sisters, a brother, and uh, two nieces, a goddaughter, and they are here with my parents this evening, so tonight is about you. So, but we couldn't do this without our business community. And on behalf of the educators in this room, I do want to say a huge thank you to our business community. I didn't go to them and say, please, would you do the Crystal Apple? They came to me and said, could we do the Crystal Apple? So Salem Kaiser, would you please do a huge round of applause for our business community? This evening, you're going to see a number of thoughtful local companies featured in tonight's program and visual images on the screens. In addition to title sponsor of Mountain West Investment Corporation, there are two major sponsors who we wish to express our gratitude. MAPS Credit Union. Thank you, MAPS, yes. And the Epping Family Foundation. Thank you, Epping Family, yes. Both of these organizations are led by wonderful leaders of character and integrity. Salem is fortunate to be home, to be home base for both MAPS and the Epping Foundation. We are humbled by your support. Thank you. And we have our live music, which Salem Kaiser knows is one of my favorite things, dance parties, there, that's it. <laughs> I like it. It is. It's we, fun. It's fun. It's mm -hmm. fun. I love it. So, Wendy, it's now our duty to introduce our MC for the evening. 
The best part is he's a product of Salem-Kaiser Public Schools and a talented local thespian. His energy and passion for our community radiates and brings people together. He's a, currently applying his skills at South Salem High School, go Saxons, <laughs> as an English language efficiency teacher. Let's welcome Zach Defoe to the stage. Thank you, Zach. Thank you. Hey, let's go. Okay, okay, ladies. Nice to see you. Oh, my goodness gracious. How's everybody doing tonight? All right, here we go. I'm going to read from the script so I don't mess up here. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor to be asked to serve as tonight's orchestrator of stage conversation. And if you hire me from now on, that is exactly what I'm going to put down. That is a really cool name. And to keep our proceedings moving and engaging, uh, as they mentioned, my name is Zach Defoe. And as the majority of you already know, I am the proud grandson of Guido Calderazzo. So if any of you know Guido or remember Guido, let's give him a round of applause. He would be probably very proud that I am standing here in front of you today. And I'm going to try not to cry. Uh, I'd also like to give a shout out to my grandmother, Gail Calderazzo. She's watching from Arizona. What's up, Grandma? And also, I am the proud son of Anne Marie Defoe, which I'm sure a lot of you know that name. She works a lot of education and kids. She's the best. And I am also the son of Mr. 150 Wins as a head football coach, Scott Defoe. So, so can we give a huge, giant, amazing round of applause for my father who got his 150th win as a head football coach this year? Can we go a little more than that? Because I really want to embarrass him. Thank you. Shout out to Mr. 150. All right, now some of you here had the pleasure of teaching me and the, uh, what would I say, the punishment of having to teach my siblings. <laughs> I'm here, they're not, and I have a mic. All right, Scott Johnson, where are you? Is Scott Johnson here? Scott Johnson was my third grade teacher. He was also my brother and sister's third grade teacher, and he is still alive. That is an amazing feat, sir. You were also nominated for a Crystal Apple tonight, so big round of applause to you. It's hot up here. Who would have thought, Mr. J, that when I was in your third grade class that you and I would be sitting here or standing here today doing this? Go Beavs. Go Beavs. Sorry, no love for the Ducks tonight. <laughs> uh, just to give you a little insight for me, I now substitute at South Salem High School in the ELD program. So I'm representing South Salem High School tonight. Go Saxons. Kind of a dream come true to uh, teach at my alma mater. Now, to kick off the evening, I may ask everyone to stand and remain standing for our message of reflection or prayer, followed by our national anthem sung this evening by the insanely talented Chelsea Lynch. Chelsea is a member of the Chamber's uh, C-Tech Business Liaison Team working daily to connect our local, yeah, give her some, let's go, give it up for her. Uh, daily connect our local businesses and communities with students at CTEC and within the district CTE programs. Please join me in standing. I'm motioning you to stand, but you're already standing, hooray. As I read this lovely statement, we take this time to reflect and pray, or pray, each in our own way, on our lives and on this moment. We are thankful for the meal before us, for the hands that prepared it, and for those who serve it. We are grateful for this day, for its blessing, for its opportunities, <laughs> and even for its challenges. May we lend each other strength and guidance as educators and leaders within the Salem community, and may we be deeply driven to give our best, always, and be so courageous to rise and meet the challenges we face. Amen, baby. <laughs> Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose 
broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangle banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave my goodness Hey, let's give a big, big, big round of applause to Chelsea Lynch. Oh, my goodness gracious. Woo! Goodness. What an incredible voice. That is amazing. Way to go, Chelsea. Speaking of incredible voices and musical talent, tonight we are joined by the famous Crystal Apple Band and the executive director of Enlightened Theatrics, Jessica Lynette Peterson. John, Jessica, we cannot wait to hear more as the evening progresses, including a special feature song to get our audience in the mood for a celebration of excellence in education. As mentioned, the staff from the Salem Convention Center has already begun our, begun our dinner service this evening. Your help uh, as attendees to minimize noise and conversation is certainly appreciated. Unless you wish to hoot and holler at me because I really enjoy my outfit tonight. I wore velvet for you tonight. Thank you. Appreciate you. My mom's in attendance tonight. If you have not already done so, please move your uh, little table numbers down. Uh, your neighbors will enjoy the approved sight lines. As your meal arrives, please start your dinner, and we will take a moment to see visually which companies have generously made this evening possible. See you soon, and um, I've been uh, substituting in a French class, so I'm going to try and say this as French as possible. Bon appétit. Not too bad. All right. Thank you, guys. We'll see you soon.
Big round of applause for the Crystal Apple Awards band. All righty. Not touching the mic. I got a little excited to celebrate you teachers tonight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you all look marvelous. Uh, give yourselves a round of applause for looking so dang dapper tonight. Now, I stand before you with great admiration for the work of our local educators, administrators, and support staff. Salem Chamber CEO Tom Hoffert states, and I quote, at the Salem Chamber, we believe in helping businesses prosper so our entire community may thrive. That is a powerful message of commitment from our local businesses and community. There are many community leaders in our audience this evening. Thank you for attending in support of excellence in local education. So to the attending members of the Salem Kaiser School Board, the McLaren Foundation Board of Directors, the board of the Salem Chamber, and the board of the Kaiser Chamber, we recognize and support you so kindly, uh, the, or we recognize the support you so kindly share with the communities you serve. Servant leadership is a term with deep meaning. For an entire nation, the world is coming out of a global pandemic. We were tested in new ways as we sought to educate our children and young people in the most challenging of circumstances yet the educators press forward, and your community noticed. These were, the, these were and continue to be extremely tedious times as the education sector identifies how it will teach and inspire in the years ahead. Knowing how much the community depends on talented and thoughtful, depends on a talented and thoughtful future workforce. Young people who are kind and disciplined, caring and connected, Teachers, professional support staff, and administrators carry heavy backpacks filled with community expectations and young minds seeking belonging and understanding. Your community salutes you tonight and each day. Without Mountain West Investment Corporation and the generosity of Larry and Jason Tokarski, we simply would have a dream and an idea. Coupling the phil uh, <laughs> philanthrop ooh, a really big word vision of Mountain West Investment. <laughs> Mr. J was my third grade teacher, he should have taught me that. <laughs> With two community legacy partners like MAPS Credit Union and the Epping Family Foundation allows events like tonight to occur with an affordable manner for our attendees. Now, let's turn our attention to the screen to learn about the nominees for this year's Crystal Apple Awards.
righty, all righty, all righty. That was awesome. I didn't realize I went to school with a lot of you guys. That's making me feel a little old. Now, as we inch closer to our awards presentation, it is important that we thank a very special group of volunteers who partnered together from various unique careers and responsibilities to make this banquet a reality. The Crystal Apple Awards Leadership Committee is chaired by Heidi Litchfield. Shout outs to you, Heidi. Please stand, Heidi, thank you. Uh, retired Director of Elementary Education with the Salem-Kaiser School District, Heidi was joined by an uplifting group of civic volunteers listed in your program. Uh, now, if you served on that volunteer committee, please stand so that we may thank you. Yes, please, please stand. Thank you so much. All right. Now, who is ready to get into the spirit of some awards? Okay, that wasn't that bad. That was like a 50%. Let me ask that one more time, okay? Now, who is ready to get into the spirit of some awards? Okay, that was much better. Now, please join me in cheering on the Crystal Apple Band and Executive Director of Enlightened Theatrics. Shout out you, Jessica Lynette Peterson. As they sing a performance of Hero.
go, Jessica. How about Jessica and the Crystal Apple Awards Band? Give another round of applause. Gosh, she's great. Just great. Now, to greet our award recipients on stage uh, are the Salem-Kaiser School District Assistant Superintendents, Ethan Uso Udo Sonata and Olga Cobb. Please come forward to the stage. I know. Joining Ethan and Olga, please welcome McLaren Leadership Foundation President Kathy Gordon, Board Treasurer Melissa Mason, and Director Diane McLaren as they begin our awards ceremony. Good evening. Yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm super excited. Recipients, as you start to learn of your selection, we ask that you stay in your seat. We will ask you to stay there until the completion of the script. Guests, please allow our recipients to advance to the stage following their award introduction. We know it's a little tight. We think you can do it. So let's start the award presentations. I have to move this. Our first honoree started in the district in 1995 as a classified substitute. Over her 28 years, she has supported Salem-Kaiser in numerous roles and departments, financial services, technology and information services, and curriculum are a few of the departments this honoree has positively contributed to. As described by her supervisor, this honoree always understands that our job is to give the students our best. She is a constant champion of our programs and our students. She knows and has so many deep and strong relationships with our teachers and is a strong advocate, advocate for these students. Another staff member that wrote in support notes that this honoree is an excellent communicator, calling often or utilizing texts or emails to follow through on these special events. Her hard work ethic and follow through is the foundation of providing students with their moments to shine. It also is a huge fiber of the structure of our district's strong music program. I cannot imagine having a conversation about school music programs without thinking of Sheila. She is a giver. Her behind the curtain work is what sustains so much of what the public sees. The Sheilas of the world often go unnoticed because few people realize what work must occur before the production. Sheila Gebhardt is a woman whose name is music to my heart. Congratulations, Sheila Gebhardt. You are a 2023 Crystal Apple Award honoree. Good evening. When someone spends 15 years as a nuclear engineer and another 15 years as an entrepreneur, you would have thought they had found their dream job. But this honoree didn't find his dream job until he entered education 10 years ago. From the moment he arrives on campus shortly after 7 a.m., Harry is there for students and ready to help them in any way possible. A past student shared their appreciation for Mr. Ahn by writing, he wasn't simply a math teacher, he taught his students about life. The more I got to know Mr. Ahn, the more he taught. He told us about his life and the lessons he has learned, the most prominent of which was how he decided to be a teacher. 
He explained to us that after his career in engineering, he realized his life's purpose wasn't to make sure nuclear reactors didn't melt down, but to help students find their purpose and true potential. Harry challenges students to be leaders in and out of his classroom and demonstrates this in how he teaches his classes. Mr. Ahn has the ability to motivate students to push themselves and take classes that they will need after they graduate from Blanchett. Mr. Ahn truly knows students, not just how students are performing in his class. He takes the time to find out their hopes and dreams and uses that information to help mentor and guide them in the right direction. Students shared that Mr. Ahn is a very demanding teacher, but he cares a lot about us as students and people, and he was always there to help us if we are having problems understanding the content. Congratulations, Harry Ahn. You are a 2023 Crystal Apple Award honoree. Students notice the positive influence this honoree brings to Salem Kaiser. Joining the district in 2014 as a classified substitute, this nominee spent time at Shirley Elementary before joining the team at McKay High School as a bilingual instructional assistant in 2016. A colleague wrote that this honoree works with classes whose majority of students are identified as English learners. She is able to connect with families by making phone calls home, setting up meetings, and interpreting the meetings with families and teachers. By being a part of these interactions, she is always able to be an extra support to the students, as well as a connection between family and teachers. Maricela has been working with the English learner population for about eight years at McKay High School. And importantly, she is one of the most she is the only constant the students have for many changes to the program within the school and school district. Students trust her quickly since she is the key to understanding the learning within the classroom, either by translating or by working one-on-one -on -one with the students. She is able to adapt no matter what classroom she is facilitating in and dedicates herself to helping students as much as she can. A student in support of this honoree wrote directly to this honoree stating, in case you don't know, you are a great support for many people like me, people to whom English is difficult or have problems in developing school <laughs> environments. When I met you, you didn't hesitate for a minute to help me to understand my work so I could deliver it. There are few people like you, Ms. Ruiz. Your humility and kindness are things that define you. And as a great person you are, a person that despite adversities, a smile never denies us. Congratulations, Maricela Ruiz Herrera. You are a 2023 Crystal Apple Award honoree.
Our next honoree has spent his entire career in the middle school level. Judson, Whitaker, Leslie, and Straub Middle School have had the privilege of having him a part of their team for over 25 years in the Salem-Kaiser schools. An instructional, an instructional mentor at Straub shares that as my supervisor at two different schools, I am so grateful for his day-to-day -day modeling of what it, what it means being a servant leader, what that looks like, how it sounds, and what it feels like. His sense of humor, stories, and interactions with students, staff, parents, and our community remind me who we work so hard for, our students. When it comes to inspiring students to reach their potential, this is an area, area that Denny McCarthy truly shines. <laughs> Denny does not give up on students. Denny takes time building relationships with students that often need extra support with behavior. He takes time for them, gives them a snack or a break, whatever they need, even an ear if they have a concern. Students and families know Mr. McCarthy. This in itself speaks volumes. He is out front in the mornings, greeting families, welcoming the staff, and is always dedicated to finding solutions to any challenge that arises. Our students know that he cares greatly for them, believes in them, and that they have the ability to do their best. The students at Straub are so fortunate to have Denny as a role model and leader. Denny is not the type of principal that only cares about numbers and data. He is willing to meet students and families where they are at so they can be the best they can be academically, emotionally, and behaviorally. Congratulations, Denny McCarthy. You are a 2023 Crystal Apple Award honor. Currently in her eighth year teaching at South Salem High School, this math teacher isn't subtracting anything from her students, but adding positivity into her students' lives. A previous student of hers shared that this honoree is more than a teacher. She was more than an avid instructor. She was a source of support. She was a safe space. High school was not kind to me, so I often found myself resorting to this safe space. I spent a lot of afternoons after school in Keck's room, asking for advice on things happening in my life. And at times, she would just listen to me, work out my feelings on what was happening. Keck was, and still is, a safe space for me and many other students. Her colleagues echoed this sentiment by stating that Sarah, or Keck, as the kids call her, provides a learning environment that promotes academic excellence before students fully step into her room in the morning. Each morning, she greets students in the hall to welcome them, laugh with them, and check in with them on an academic and personal level, so they instantly feel a strong sense of belonging in her class. An example of the influence she has is the number of kids who seek her out after the graduation ceremony to make sure they get a picture with her, and often their families as well. She also is in continued contact with them after graduation. Just this fall, she followed up with some of the last year's grads to assist in their applying to community college and to help with job applications. Keck is a teacher who embodies helping students reach their potential in life, not just in high school. Congratulations, Sarah Keck. You are a 2023 Crystal Apple Award honoree.
Thank you. This honoree is known for supporting students in various learning environments and is dedicated to helping students achieve academic, social, and emotional success in every role they take on. Starting with serving students at Lake Labiche Elementary in 2009, followed by moving over to Kennedy Elementary, where she has been working as a bilingual instructional assistant for the past 12 years, Gabriella Steinlich has been a powerful role model for students. Her co-worker shares that Gabriella inspires students and staff to reach their potential by always encouraging them to do their best. Whether she is teaching in a small group, supervising at recess, or staying late to teach an enrichment class, Gabriella brings her passion, warmth, and high expectations to every educational setting. She keeps their school systems organized and jumps in to solve any problems that arise. She collaborates with students, staff, and families to keep Kennedy a welcoming and inclusive school. As a bicultural, bilingual woman, Gabriella shows students every day that with hard work and dedication, they too can achieve their highest potential. In addition, Gabriella was praised by her colleague, colleagues from her work with Kennedy's After School Enrichment Program. This program is run by volunteer staff, such as Gabriella, to provide a full week of enrichment classes to students such as art, photography, cooking, and pet care. Gabriella's passions shined bright in these classes and throughout Kennedy. From supporting art activities in class to providing sidewalk chalk during recess and even creating designs for bulletin boards to brighten up the hallways, Gabriella is always looking for ways to showcase the creativity and work of students. Congratulations, Gabriella Steinlich. You are 2023 Crystal Apple Award. Award. Our next honoree has de dedicated himself to the same department during his almost 15 years with the district. Originally a technology support specialist, this honoree can now be found supporting the Sprague Area Feeder Schools as a microcomputer support too. The honoree's colleagues state that he has incredible ability to collaborate, coordinate, create, and motivate through his enthusiasm to develop and implement TIS and district-driven goals and initiatives. His authentic care and connection are a one-of-a-kind trait, which is unique to only Michael. His, <laughs> his presence is calm, joyful, supportive, and is layered with kindness and humor. Everything which Michael brings to a technology response is inspired to ultimately support student access and success in and out of the classroom. An elementary principal shared Michael advocated for school safety and security at Morningside. Last month, one of our sets of doors to our secure vestibule was not functioning, which caused a major security issue. Michael supported us by making sure the vendor did their job. He worked closely with our security department to make sure we were protected. Michael always advocates and facilitates a positive and safe working environment. He continued by sharing that Michael is an exceptional employee for the Salem-Kaiser School District. He is a servant leader who inspires youth, provides amazing customer service, and goes above and beyond to support our staff and our students. Congratulations, Michael Daniels. You are a 2023 Crystal Apple Award honoree. <laughs>
As an educator for 18 years, this honoree spent time as a second grade teacher before becoming a principal. When asked what they love about their job, they said, I love the people I get to work with and the fact that our team gets to partner with so many great families in raising good little people. A grandparent from the honoree school notes that Carl's leadership as principal of Queen of Peace has brought the parts of this school together and has resulted in inspired teachers, satisfied parents, and personal achievement for the students. Mr. Micken is noted as a leader that fosters goals for learners who dream, believe, and create, empowering students to achieve and solve problems in an ever-changing world. Carl is known to assist in creating and maintaining a family-oriented environment for everyone. When people feel loved, respected, and wanted, they achieve their goals and encourage others to reach their highest potential. This is what Mr. Micken does for students and staff at Queen of Peace. One way this is displayed is through Mr. Micken's work is Carl's belief that a well-supported and educated faculty promotes student success. He actively engages in professional development that strengthens teachers' skills to support all students. Carl led the way for Queen of Peace to be the first school in Oregon to be accepted into the Notre Dame STEM Teaching Fellows Professional Development Program. Lastly, his colleagues note that Mr. Micken exemplifies the qualities that encourage academic excellence. It's all about relationships that develop through passionate, compassionate, and spiritual culture at Queen of Peace. And Carl has made Queen of Peace School a place where all students can find success and grow as learners. Congratulations, Carl Micken. You are a 2023 Kistel Apple Award honoree. Joining the district in 2012, this honoree is currently in her 11th year at the same school. She is committed to her career as a social studies teacher, having also taken time as an avid teacher. As described by a parent, this honoree brings an energy and passion to the classroom that motivates her students to develop skills out of their comfort zones, learn about complicated topics, and respect others' opinions while being able to back up their own arguments. These skills are critical in today's world. Ms. Pope is doing an essential job of preparing students to be actively engaged in civics and in becoming more knowledgeable participants in democracy. Another parent wrote, towards the end of his senior year, my son came home from school. He recounted to me that he and other students had been talking about stresses of college and scholarship application process. One student commented that Ms. Pope had written her a letter of recommendation. One by one, all the students at the table, including my son, chimed in that Ms. Pope had also written a letter for them. When these students considered which teacher knows their strengths, believes in their ability to succeed, and would take the time to write and submit a recommendation on their behalf, many of them turned to Ms. Pope. She connects with students, motivates them to reach their potential, and serves them enthusiastically along their chosen paths. Congratulations, Jacqueline Pope Brothers. You are a 2023 Crystal Apple Award honoree.
We, we did hear it is her birthday today. So I think it would be only appropriate to sing happy birthday. I hope this is really true. Ready? Happy birthday. Our next honoree joined the Salem-Kaiser Public Schools in 2016. She has dedicated herself over the past seven years as a health nurse to ensuring, <laughs> to ensuring that students are healthy physically and mentally, allowing them to come to school prepared every day. No matter the situation or extenuating circumstances, the student's history or reputation, or even the time or energy needed, Denise is known as the kind of person who is willing to put their time in, and if it means helping a student feel heard or reach their potential. There is a video by Breen Brown about empathy, and every one of Denise's colleagues watches it. They think, when they watch, they think of Denise. Breen describes empathy as having four unique characteristics. Perspective talking, staying out of judgment, recognizing emotion in other people, and communicating that emotion. In essence, Breen Brown says that empathy is feeling with people. Breen Brown is describing Denise's superpower, her way of helping students reach their potential. In addition, as schools navigated the unprecedented challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic, Denise was recognized numerous times in her nomination for her dedication to supporting students and staff. Denise was seen in what resembled a co-principal role by her administrator as she leaned on her as a school nurse to be a partner in determining their school's approach, messaging, actions, and support systems. Denise's influence led to a steady response, void of panic. Denise was seen by her staff as a go-to place for well-researched information and relied on to keep her, her school safe. She continually supports her school through significantly more than just medical protocols. As described by her colleague, it may not be Denise's role at the school to directly impact the learning environment at South, but Denise can't help but take on an indirect role in the whole student, no matter her position. It is these examples and more that personify Denise as an educator, a mentor, a coach, a counselor, and friend for so many staff and students at South. Her impact on the learning environment helps students walk into classrooms healthy, happy, and heard. Congratulations, St Denise Proudfoot. You're a Crystal Apple 2023 award winner. This honoree began her career as a classified substitute in 2016. Since then, she has continued expanding her career and now works as an instructional support assistant. As described by her colleague, this nominee is a relationship person. She is friendly, caring, a team player, funny, happy, and always puts others first, especially children and their needs. As a behavior IA, Megan doesn't wait for a teacher to call her. 
She is always visible throughout the school, popping into classrooms multiple times a day, making eye contact with the teacher, and touching base with all children, not just those who are struggling. Megan is a child <laughs> whisperer. She coasts into a classroom, whispers to the child who is struggling, gets at their level, makes them feel safe, and de-escalates the situation with ease. She makes positive connections with staff members, families, and students. She is compassionate to everyone's needs and pays attention to details about our students, truly getting to know what makes them tick. Her mindset is that children need to start fresh every day. She is the first one to jump in and she has a calming nature about her that everyone around her picks up on. Our staff, Families, and especially our students, are truly lucky, lucky to know Megan and experience her love and dedication to Chapman Hill. She goes above and beyond making connections and helping students feel safe, loved, and important. Congratulations, Megan Spickerman. You are a 2023 Crystal Apple Award honoree. Entering the district as a third grade bilingual teacher in 2002, this honoree has continued his career working as both a fourth grade and fifth grade teacher. He has spent his entire 21 year career at Auburn Elementary, dedicated to being an Astro. Described by his coworkers, Jeremy creates many genuine learning opportunities for students to demonstrate their creativity, diversity, and kindness through his thoughtful thoughtfulness and ability to relate content and activities to the interests of his students. Mr. Parker is an outside the box thinker, which also inspires students to try and participate in activities that might be out of their comfort zone. Additional colleagues of this honoree write that Mr. Parker encourages and supports students' dreams and admissions. At, the re at a recent parent-teacher conference, Mr. Parker encouraged a young Afghan student to follow her dreams of becoming a doctor. Her dad later said, I really appreciate that because Mr. Parker is her teacher. Now she can have these dreams. He went on to say, I really appreciate my daughter's teacher because he works really hard with my daughter and I see her improvements and now she translates for us at home. I don't have any words to thank you and I appreciate the support my family has received. I am far from my home and I felt like I left everything behind in Afghanistan but being at Auburn makes me feel like I am with my family because we are so welcome at Auburn. Okay. Congratulations, Jeremy Parker. You are a 2023 Crystal Apple Award honoree.
Our next nominee has spent time at three different elementary schools over her 20 years serving students in Salem-Kaiser Public Schools, 17 of them at her current elementary school. She has been integral in her role as a bilingual instructional assistant, known for always having a smile on her face and sharing positive words of wisdom. You can always count on Hortensia to, sh <laughs> to share a beautiful piece of Spanish poesia to brighten your day. Described by her colleague, Ms. Navrate is always ready to take on whatever tasks her teacher asks her to do. Not only does she do the task, but she often will add something or take the original vision above and beyond whatever was expected. Her principal echoes this sentiment by sharing that she hears about Hortensia daily from her own son. She hears about the book they are reading and the special notes she writes to students to let them know how, sh how proud she is of them and most importantly, that they should be proud of themselves. Hortensia brings so much diversity and culture to her school such as honoring Dia de los Muertos at Bush Elementary. In the nomination for this recognition, it was shared that Hortensia helps students feel inspired to honor other cultures and continue learning about diversity. Students feel celebrated, seen, and that they belong because of the positive interactions Hortensia provides for students. Hortensia is described as a kind, creative, skilled, self-motivated self and dedicated educator and each day supports students to grow with her patience, joy, and encouragement. Congratulations, Hortensia Navrate. You are a 2023 Crystal Apple honoree. Beginning his career as an agriculture and horticulture teacher at McKay High School in 2005, this honoree has taken a different route throughout his tenure at the district. After leaving the district in 2008, this honoree joined the transportation services team in 2018, excited to go in a new direction. A Salem-Kaiser principal wrote in support stating that this honoree serve students by ensuring that they have safe, fair, and kind transportation to and from school. This year, he was promoted to the leader of the transportation routing team and has taken his heart for students and families into this new position. His supervisors say that he has taken his compassion for others into this new role and that his team is grateful for his organization and experience in helping them navigate often stressful and confusing situations. Although Michael doesn't interact daily with students, except when driving bus routes during staffing shortages, his love for students shines through in every aspect of his work. Another administrator in the district writes that, one thing I have especially appreciated about Michael is his reflectiveness and growth in the equity journey. In our community, we have struggles and bus behavior and many of these students are living in poverty with the effects of addiction and or trauma. Keeping this in mind, Michael advocates for ways to support student learning while maintaining accountability for respectful and safe behavior on our buses. We have reflected together when students are without alternate transportation to brainstorm other responses to behavior in lieu of a bus suspension. 
He has been a thought partner and a safe place for me to consider how we evolve as an organization in that effort. I have grown as a leader because of my conversations with Michael and his work with our team. Congratulations, Michael Cape. You are a 2023 Crystal Apple Award honoree. This honoree's story with the Salem-Kaiser Public Schools began seven years ago, and throughout her career, she is known as a champion for bilingual education. She has been dedicated to her role as an AP Spanish literature and dual language social studies teacher and mentor for many dual language peers throughout the time at, as a titan at West Salem High School. Her principal shared that from the moment we hired Denise over a virtual platform, we knew that we had landed gold with this teacher from Guadalajara, Mexico, who was determined to leave everything behind to grow and contribute to West Salem community. She instantly was pushed to expand her comfort as she engaged in new community with a second language she continued to acquire, a new education system to become familiar with, and new courses to organize and develop curriculum for. In all this newness, Denise has excelled professionally and personally. She is easily one of the most personable people in our building, and she continues to invest in her growth as a professional, demonstrating her dedication to ongoing learning and leading. Within her nomination, one of Denise's students shared a memory from where they were a freshman in her 20th century history class. This is part of their story they shared. I was extremely unsure of myself. I had discovered my non-binary identity earlier in eighth grade, but as a Spanish speaker, I wasn't sure if there was a place for me. I was defeated. Spanish was my love, my passion. It was everything to me. I took my first steps into my high school Spanish class, and I was greeted with smiles. I saw her face light up for no other reason than seeing students. I saw her pride flag in the background, and I knew I was safe. This is one example of many ways Denise creates predictable, safe, and supportive environments to help all students thrive. Denise continually inspires her students to grow in both their academics and as global citizens, achieving heights that they would never have imagined without the benefit of her support. Denise is known as being particularly invested in her work as a bilingual educator and as it serves to bolster the academic identity of Latinx students while it expands to worldview of all students and results in a deeper cultural understanding and more authentic and genuine intercultural interactions. Congratulations, Denise Pozos Gonzalez. You're a 2023 Crystal Apple Award honoree.
Hey everyone, I'm back. My mom called me and tried to teach me that P word that I didn't know and it didn't go very well, so I was not going to do it up here. But anyway, why am I dressed like this? That is a great question. I am in a show out at the Pentacle Theater called Terra Nova. I'm going to give you the quick five-second spiel about it. Back in 1912, the Norwegians and the Brits raced to the South Pole because that's what you did back in the day. They didn't have TikTok. So you had to race to the South Pole to gain some clout. The Norwegians made it back and the Brits did not. My play is about the Brits. So, 2 p.m. or 2 p.m. tomorrow afternoon and 7:30 p.m. tomorrow afternoon, Terra Nova, uh, the name of the play, is going to be going on at Pentacle Theater. I promise you, even if I was not in this show, I would tell you that it's one of the best plays that's been in Salem in a very, 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 very long time. So, if, has anybody seen it? Oh, please whoop if you've seen it. Pretty dang good, wasn't it? Thank you. I appreciate that, sir. Also, just one little shout out. Uh, our lovely superintendent said that I am a something thespian. I'd say a good thespian. But I am also the founder and owner of the Salem Playhouse, Salem's first and only professional acting school where we teach you to be a professional actor or actress. Thank you. Appreciate that. And I am also the vice president of the Salem Theater Network. So I got to come promote shows and promote plays. So please... Go out and, and, and enjoy our local theaters and go see our local shows. We have some of the best artists around. And I'm not talking just in the valley. I'm not just, just talking in the state. I'm talking anywhere. We have some very, very talented people. Yes, please, round of applause. <laughs> Who all are very passionate and all like to dress up like fools in front of a group of like 500 to 600 people and promote theater. Um, so please go and do that. And also, I don't know where he's at, but there's a young man who has been serving you dinner tonight who is going to be donkey in Shrek the Musical over at Pensacola Theater next month. His name is Trey Green. I had to give him a shout out because that man is a really great guy and you guys are going to fall in love with him and he's going to be in shows here for many, many years to come. Now, back to the script. I apologize. Now, what a remarkable display of inspiration and celebration tonight. With nearly 90 nominees... 90 nominees. That's amazing. The selection. That is a lot, sir. <laughs> that must have been a very daunting process for the committee. So sh hats off to the committee for being able to narrow that down because that must have been really difficult. So to wrap up my time, I want to say thank you for allowing me to speak at this tonight. I used to come to this when I was a little kid, so it's a little trippy being here in front of you. And to... Uh, I guess uh, listen to me while I stand here in an Arctic uh, suit. But I am now going to pass on the duties of speaking here to the CEO of the Salem Chamber, Tom Hoffert, to put a bow on the evening. Thank you. I just wish... Zach brought some energy with him. <laughs> it is a tremendous honor uh, for our organization to be asked to bring this event back. And I'd like to reflect back, if I would, uh, if I could, just briefly. The Salem Chamber, under the leadership of Mike McLaren, started the Crystal Apple Awards. And <laughs> while this uh, rotated a bit of hands, our dear friends at, at the former SCAF, and now it lands back uh, at the Salem Chamber. It was an incredibly, uh, for our board, uh, and the board of the McLaren Leadership Foundation, an incredible honor. And I want to thank you on behalf of our directors for asking us to take on this responsibility again. It means a lot to us. We are caretakers in our community. We're not shareholders. We're caretakers. And we believe in helping the business community be successful so we can help all the other crucial pieces of our, of our community that need business support. And so it is a great honor for our two organizations, uh, led by Kathy Gordon on the McLaren side and Wendy Valise on the, on the Salem Chamber side to take on this responsibility. So for the second half of our show tonight, 
Okay, I kid, I kid. We're almost done. Yeah, applaud for that. That's right. Uh, <laughs> let me jump uh, back to script. We had uh, a number of individuals you might have seen in chef coats tonight. Was that kind of cool? By the way, not Salem Convention Center staff. That, those were our culinary students at both South Salem High School and our SeaTech culinary students. A round of applause. Laura, Rhonda, well done. By the way, Rhonda Rhodes, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. I think it is incredible to be here at the Salem Convention Center and know that it probably struck you if you bought a ticket. That's pretty interesting to go get a meal and a night out for $25. Seriously, is right. Uh, that is on behalf of our business sponsors. And their very clear message was sent by Mr. Larry Tokarski and his son Jason. Uh, the great leadership of individuals like Salam Noor, who understands education and who is an incredible leader in this community. Mark Zook, I would include Kim Hansen, and of course, Larry and Jeanette Epping. They said, Tom, we need to make this affordable. No teacher should feel like this is a tough one to attend. Sponsors, mission accomplished. Well done. I can't say enough about the leadership of Mountain West Investments and what they do in this community. They are the company behind the scenes. And it probably is irritating a couple people in the audience that I'm even speaking about them right now, and that is their employees because of how humble they are. We are very fortunate to have Katya Mendez serve on our Salem Chamber Board. And I personally am very fortunate to have Salam as my mentor. I lost my mentor, Mike McLaren, uh, too early. And it meant so much to me in my journey to have Salam Noor share his incredible outlook on life. And that is that life can be better tomorrow with discipline and kindness. Thank you, Salam. <clears throat> have you had a good time tonight? <laughs> Allow me just a few more moments and then we will conclude. Allied Video Production and the Salem Convention Center. You're best in class. <laughs> Ask ESP, Grove Mueller, Swank PCs, No Kaiser Network of Women, our great friends at Neighborly Ventures, SKEA, Salem Kaiser Edu Education Association, and keeping our bellies always filled at the student level, Sodexo at school. Thank you to those sponsors. <clears throat> this world is a daunting place. It's a place where our youth face considerable obstacles to feel included at home and with their peers. We stand proud of our education community for showcasing perseverance and skills in shepherding our next generation of leaders through the complexity of life. For some of you, know you may be the only smile, only hug, only listening ear some of our young people experience during a day. For us in the business community, we are humbled by your leadership. As a business community, we must stand behind excellence in education. I would like to invite to the stage the directors of the McLaren Leadership Foundation and the directors present from our Salem Chamber Board of Directors and the directors 
tour with the Kaiser Chamber of Commerce. Would you please come and stand with me on stage? But not, yeah, I love that, I love that clap, Chad. Nice work. The clap is actually not for these individuals. These individuals are gonna stand behind me and you'll shortly understand why. Would you please come forward? E.T., uh, that's a great leader right there, but he's got a boot. He probably has to go get some pain meds here real quick. So, Okay, spread out a little bit here. They love when I do impromptus. As a leader, when you hear, and by the way, I need Salam Noor and Kim Hansen to join me. Mark, only because she said you wouldn't. Kim and Mark, uh, pardon me, Kim and Salam, would you please join me as well? These individuals who are behind me are behind something bigger, and that is excellence in education. Tonight is about the 89 nominees, but it, more importantly, it is about the great educators, regardless of whether you're in the Salem Kaiser School District, in a charter school, or our private schools. And these people believe in that and are committed to that. Christy Perry, I need you, and you're going to hate me for this, I need you to come right up here. Those guys are good. And I was going to say, Jessica Lynette Peterson, first of all, good friend, full disclosure. That woman has more skill in her pinky than I have in my entire body. So, John, you guys have great taste. Well done tonight. Wonderful. Christy Perry has served as superintendent of the Salem Public Schools since 2014. She has more than 30 distinguished years of experience in education, including 18 as an Oregon superintendent. Highlights of her tenure in Salem include the opening of the district's state-of-the-art CTEC Career and Technical Education Center. And its expansion, including, by the way, expansion to the Salem Airport. How many people would like to take a commercial flight out of Salem? All right, all right, all right. Christy was at the helm of the passage of a $619 million bond package, general obligation bond that was the third largest in the state of Oregon history to provide funds for improvement to our district schools. Under her tenure, graduation rates have raised more than 7.5% over the past five years. And the dropout rate has been cut in half. Perry has also greatly supported and prioritized accessibility to the music program, programming at elementary levels through high school resulting in district school consistency, consistently recognized for music as excellent in the state and at national levels. Under her leadership, the district adopted its first equity policy and an equity lens, formed a student equity committee, brought student advisors to the school board, expanded dual language programs, and elevated hiring of, of diverse staff through the district's Grow Your Own program, all things that elevate the service of this district to its most diverse and needy populations. She was also part of the founding community group that worked to build stronger relationships in Salem based on the principles of the outward mindset. 
Superintendent Perry has led the district with care and connection through on-site, onset height and recovery uh, of the COVID-19 pandemic as students return to in-person learning. Perry was named the 2021 Oregon Superintendent of the Year and one of four finalists in 2021 for the National Superintendent of the Year. Wendy. On behalf of the McLaren Leadership Foundation Board of Directors, the Salem Chamber Board of Directors, and the Kaiser Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors, the business community salutes you, Christy Perry. But does the education community as well. Ladies and gentlemen, your retiring superintendent, Christy Perry. We're, Christy is going to have a, a couple moments at the microphone, but I have been instructed by my bosses, we got to get a picture first. Thumbs up that we're good? Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Christy Perry. Okay, this night was actually about you, so um, just let's go back to that. Uh, huge honor. I've really been uh, supported by the business community in the cha both chambers. Uh, throughout our time here, and their support of me helps me uh, support you. And uh, so I can't do it without them, I can't do it without our community, and most importantly, I can't uh, do it uh, without our amazing educators who are on the front lines for our kids every single day. So um, I wish that we could have given uh, 89 um, crystal apples out tonight because every one of those nominations told an important story about a changed life for kids. So. And I do this work because I am a huge champion of public education and I do it on behalf, I know if I can smooth the waters, if I can help clear paths, that our job for educators will be a little bit easier because the people on the front line actually have the hardest job. So could I have our 89 nominees please stand up? Stay standing, come on. You uh, represent, you're 89 of our 7,000 employees. Uh, yeah, Denny, stand up. 89 uh, that represent the best of what we do in education, public, private, charter. Uh, you represent the best of what we do, and you represent your colleagues who also do amazing work with our kids. So to each of you, I uh, salute you, I thank you, 
and to the chamber, uh, thank you for this recognition uh, tonight. It's been a, uh, certainly a great night, and I cannot think of a better uh, year to bring back the crystal apple. I'd have been super sad if you did it next year without me. So I'm super great to do it tonight. So again, to our 89 nominees and our 16 award winners tonight, please give them a big round of applause. Mountain West Investment Corporation, thank you so much. MAPS Credit Union, thank you so much. Epping Family Foundation, thank you so much. There is one committee, uh, two committee members that were unable to join us tonight that ought to be recognized. Jacob Espinoza and Karina Lee. With that, we are going to have our 16, uh, which is actually 15. I wasn't going to do any correction of the boss, if you know what I mean. But we will have the 15 uh, award winners. Please come forward right now, because we know what happens once we turn you all loose. So we need the 16 to come forward, because we have to take a group photo up here. And if we don't get them up here before we release you, you're all going to mob them and thank them and tell them what a great job they did. So if you are one of the 16, 15 recipients, would you please step forward? Bring your apple, yes, thank you. While they are coming to the stage, Heidi Litchfield led an incredible volunteer committee Look for that entire committee on the back of the program. Thank you so much to this group here. I got to tell you, I have the best chamber staff anywhere in the nation. Thank you to my chamber staff uh, for your work. They are incredible individuals. Okay, I think I got everyone in the clear. Ladies and gentlemen, we have had an incredible night. We can't wait to see you next year. Let's celebrate as a community excellent and education. Have a great night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank <laughs> you. 